Alrighty, and we're back. We got we got hands, we got looks, we got style. But do we have sound? It looks like we have sound. Yes, sir. <laughs> Welcome, everybody. Sorry for being late. I overslept a little bit because I ended up taking a nap, and then. I spent most of the morning um, trying to learn some 3D modeling because I'm having some difficulty getting the advanced tracking on the face. And I figured, screw it. I want to learn 3D printing stuff, so I'll go. I'll learn how to do all the animations and stuff. I mean, you need animations for 3D printing, but like modeling and characters. Building, I guess, is the word. Um, so I was making a donut. Because there's this YouTube tutorial by a guy named, I think, Blender Guru. And so I was doing that. And uh, the donut just looked damn delicious. So when I woke up, I was like, oh, I want a donut before the stream. What time is it? 8.15? Okay, I can run to the Dunkin' Donuts like three minutes away. Went there. They were closed. Well, that won't do. So I had to run over to uh, Publix. And at Publix, they were out of the, you know, chocolate frosted donuts. So settled for Marvel cake. But that took me an extra 10 or 15 minutes. Ran back here at like five minutes to eat. And that's when I noticed as I was setting up while my food was cooking. Um, the audio was messed up on the PS5 specifically. So like all the music going in the background right now, that wasn't coming through when I was looking through my settings and so I had to try reloading things and all that good stuff eventually I just basically had to restart OBS and then the little cable connecting the two and that ended up getting it but we're good to go today everything seems to be working in fine order we're gonna jump back into it here do load game instead of continue because I've got a fairly good idea that my load game is later, right? Yeah, by just a couple seconds, but still. <clears throat> and I will have to remember all of the controls. Fantastic. Alrighty. Oop, and we got a little event right that off the bat. Blazing swords turned out to be even stronger than I expected. <clears throat> Sword made of With fire, strong, power, you don't say. Elemental types are hardly a concern anymore. You can bring practically any foe down to their knees in a flash. Don't count on me being able to pull off another Gates of Fire. That only happened because I had the help of that spirit vessel monster, too. Still, you did defeat Balsef with it, which means it can also take down the other lords. That's enough for me. Besides, if it was any stronger, your body wouldn't be able to handle it. Have you forgotten what happened after we finished off Balsef? No. But aren't you scared of having that much power inside of you? Even a little? Why would I be? Power provides opportunity. You don't expect me to simply throw it away, do you? No, I get it. It's a good ace to have up our sleeve, that's for sure. I'll make the most of it. Well, as much as I can without becoming charcoal. <laughs> Solid plan. Oh, let me get my wallet out of my pocket or that's going to bother me. Aha! All right. That was quite the operation. So many injured people kept coming in, I actually ran out of medicine. That's not good. How's these guys? I messed up my foot real good just when I was trying to get her to stop worrying about me so much. He did it on purpose. He wanted to be with the uh, cute nurse. All right, let's see. There's a side quest over there. Side quest down here too, but uh, that's for killing the big bug I feel mantis. Like somebody's watching us. Maybe there's someone around here who needs. Okay. Yes. Hey, did you talk to the nice. blacksmith? I did. I didn't realize he could make weapons out of zo. How did you pronounce that? Zwiggle parts? Zuggle parts? That he can. Knowing that, could I ask you to help me out with a little something? You know those golems? The big rock guys? Mm. The ones like the like to spring out of the ground without warning? They're a pain in the neck. Yeah, that's it. 
They should make for some great weapon material from what I'm told. Hmm. There's still a ton of those roaming around causing trouble, and it looks like we'll need to forge some new weapons too. Could you get three stone fragments off of those guys and bring them back here for me? We have what you need, sir. Very nice. I appreciate all you've done. Once we combine this with the other stuff, we should be able to whip up some fine weapons. Awesome. It's so important we Crimson Crows make this realm safe for people to walk around in now. Thanks to you. Or now thanks to you it is. Always happy to do what I can around here. If anything else comes up, let me know. Yes. Thanks. And I appreciate your Renan friend's help to who, just to be clear. Sure. I didn't do anything. Alfin just dragged me along like always. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take you at your word for it. In any case, if you find yourselves needing stronger weapons, it's a good idea to collect cycle parts. Any good blacksmith out there can make good use of them. Anyways, I'll catch you folks later. We got money! Another thing I should do is make sure Twitch is turned on my phone in case my chat decides so not to show again. Different materials produce different weapons. Each with their own respective properties. Oh, we should probably looks like Perrin's playing as well. Think of it. What's my Still finishing up Neo, the world ends with you. Would it make sense with? Should have fun with Cloth, that one. Fangs, it gets better towards the end, the end, is why I mentioned that. Like, the first few weeks, and I think she meant, or he mentioned when he was on last time. I gotta be, gotta be careful now that I know the, uh, the terms. But he was mentioning that the beginning was kind of slow and not so great. And I would agree with that. All right, let's go here, maybe? Or I can just be a fool and not know how to get my chat to show up on the phone when I'm doing this. All right, if I don't find any two more button presses, we're gonna drop it. If I press Street Manager, there we go. Okay, just in case. Hopefully I notice that, if nothing else. Oop, another quest. Doing all the quests, baby. <laughs> Whoa, you're the Renan that helped liberate Caligula... Caliglia, aren't you? What? So what if I am? This is crazy. I always wanted to talk to you. <laughs> hey, I know this is really sudden, but how do you think I look? Well, how should I put it? It's a right. very simple look. Mm -hmm. Right? There's nothing stylish about what I'm wearing, not even a little. There's only so much you can do with a few pieces of cloth, though. I think now that Calaglia's free, I should be free from these boring old rags, too. Don't you agree? Yes. Sure, now's a good time as any. That's why I wanted to talk to you. I want your opinion of what I can do to stand out and look more handsome. I like your attitude. I know a guy who could stand to take a page out of your book. Hey, our bro is, like, Spaniard-styled as fuck. What with the half kind of waistcoat up atop and that flared collar? Mmm. What? Sorry to disappoint. I'm not so sure. Anyways, what sort of outfit do you think would look good on me? Any ideas you might have for me to try? <laughs> Let me think. Hmm, something aggressive. What would aggressive constitute? He's not going to pull off money unless he gets some of the hair out of his eyes. Plus, you know, kind of a poor country right now, having just been slaves and all. Right. You'll just blend in with the crowd if you look like everyone else. Go for something unique, something in your face that makes you stand out. Hmm. You're right. It'd be boring if I just look like any other random person around here. Okay, I'll look for something loud and bold. I'd love to get your feedback once I come up sure. with an outfit. Sure, I'd be happy to do that. Shion the fashion critic. Yeah, the stream title today is, is it appropriate to fight people in a wedding dress? So, fun little side quest to come up. What do we do with the green? Mm -hmm. All right, I know what I want. Now to just go out and find it. Okay. 
Is he just gonna, like, mm -hmm. I gotta wait, I guess? Okay, interesting. Any, we can probably use the map to look this up, but any other quests in the area? Doesn't really look like it, but we can fast travel here now, which is solid. Sorry, keep an eye on my messages. Uh, and nothing in the inn, yeah? But we probably could use our money to buy some more resurrects because she was getting Looks like we get to sleep obliterated. Life bottle heals KO. <laughs> we have none, but they're expensive as hell. Mm. We're gonna skip buying the armor because the next village. Dirty little secret about RPGs. Usually every village has an upgrade to armor or weapons. Not all the time, but almost almost every set. So if you can skip one village, you can save your money and go to the next village, and then you get double the stat boost as long as you're able to make it through just on the stats you have. And you'll almost never not be able to afford that next set of upgrades. I kind of want the life bottle, but I also know it's way too expensive to be going for. Out of curiosity, do we get any events if we sleep at an inn? Oh, we can cook before resting. That's nifty. Um, defense up, heal HP, elemental defense. Probably regular defense up is what we need to do. And we'll have Xion do it. This should definitely keep you guys full. Porridge is good. Yeah, we almost had a short stream today because I have a buddy coming down. We're going to be rock climbing. Just at, like, the local rock climbing gym. Over the weekend. And, uh... I am the only single guy down here, so people crash at my place. Which isn't a problem. I love having company. But, being that I live in a 1-1 apartment, at least until the end of the year, if I, uh... <laughs> have people over and them streaming, they have to stay up until 3 a.m. too. Uh-oh. This is... Didn't realize there was so many injured. Xion? Yeah. Okay, thanks, Xion. You can stop now. We'll take care of the rest from here. Something happened while I was out? After she finished patching you up, Sion here was kind enough to help us treat other injured folks. I tried telling her she's done more than enough. What? I just figured the sooner you were all back on your feet, the sooner we could move on to finding the next lord. It wasn't out of the goodness of my heart or anything. Is that right? <laughs> well, whatever your reasons, we appreciate the help. Thanks. Map action. Xion can use healing arts to treat injured people you find during your travels. Doing so may earn you a reward in return. To heal an injured person, approach them and press up to spend CP to cast the Astral Art. Do we want to go check the medic tent really quick? Why do you keep people at arm's length? Because they get electrocuted if she doesn't. You're always trying to wave it off whenever someone's nice to you. Like with Tilsa just now. Why couldn't you just accept her gratitude? Our interests just happen to overlap. I don't want people thinking I'm doing things to be nice when in reality they benefit both of us. All I care about is that we hurry up and defeat the lords. See, that's what I mean. <laughs> you. You want to defeat the lords. I may have been skeptical at first, but now... I really believe you meant it. Yet despite that, you still took the time to help out those injured Danans, didn't you? I did it because it was necessary and I got roped into helping out. Is that the same reason you helped that kid in Balsif's castle? Because it sure didn't look that way to me. 
You've helped me too. Not just with my injuries, but by being there for me as well. Even though I can't feel pain, the injuries I get from using the blazing sword could probably kill me. That thought alone should be terrifying. Should kill you. And I know you'll always be there by my side, ready to heal me. It's because of you that I can wield the blazing sword. <laughs> this got a little weird. Close in on me like that. <laughs> if you get any closer, you're going to set off my thorns, you know. I was just trying to compliment you. You were? That's a pretty bold compliment. <laughs> Weird way to state it. What now? Sion, your thorns! It's okay. I'll stop talking about it. You... you will? In any case, I'm just glad that you're the one who ended up with the Master Core. Thank you, Shion, for everything. <sighs> now let's go check out those gates of fire. <sighs> really? I swear. I don't know. You're bad for the heart. Either the translators could have done a better job at that one, or that was rough writing to get a uh, romance started. If you hadn't healed me back there, Shion, I would have never lived to see this. I told you before, if you die on me, it'll make things difficult for me too. Yeah, yeah, I know. Doesn't look like we can heal anyone here. Just wanted to double check. Ah. All right, to the gates of fire. Away! Yeah, we aren't fighting Mantis okay. Boy anytime Off soon. Ah, uh, but we might be able to. I don't see any soldiers or their pet zoogles. Just strays roaming around. They must have split once Balsef kicked the bucket and they had nobody left to obey. Yeah, that's true. I don't think there was anywhere that was really blocked off. I just want to go over to that, uh... Not this way, I guess. Oh, we can't go to the train yard village. Okay. We'll probably be coming back later then. They already switched the zone out in the background scene. Let's dispose of the okay, trash. how did I do this? Right, right trigger. And I could use skills. But I've got to swap them while I do them, or else... There are still more left. Right. No time to hold back. Got flyers. I've got this. If I don't swap them as I'm doing them, they'll build up resistances to them. And I don't know if that transfers across the different characters. Together, that wasn't even a problem. Now, speaking of her and playing, uh... You know, the world ends with you. I still need to make a review for that and post it to YouTube. Not that too many people are watching these. But. Might as well, right? As long as there's content, eventually someone might get use out of it. Even if it's just learning the things I did that didn't really take. I'll. I'll do whatever. <laughs> Any of that's good interesting statues. This is not the Gates of Fire. Gates of Fire were over this way. I don't think we missed any treasure in there. We already killed the, um, what's it called? Nothing in here. The Zweigel with the Cloud Aura or whatever. He was level 13, he did poison, he was tanky and annoying, but we got him. Roly polies like these guys, but a big right, one. I thought I'd be able to knock him up into the air. I thought I was gonna sweep up, 
and they were gonna Together, roll under me. I was wrong. Got some diamond dogs. Right, that way goes back around to the back entrance, so we want to go this way. We got a fast travel point from something. I'll take it. Oh, right, we got a sprint button. Got to use the sprint button. That monster that appeared from the spirit vessel and the power inside the blazing sword, they're both born of the same thing. It's all astral energy harvested from the souls of dying Danans. I suppose so. Yeah. Unless the Zwagels give it off when they die. In that case, we're making our own, baby. the Danans who gave their lives for today. Their power. After all this time, it's what finally destroyed Bolson and his wall. By the way, what happened to all the energy that we released? It's dispersing and spreading across Dana as we speak, finding its way back to where it belongs. And all the energy the Renans have harvested? Where does that go? One Sovereign's decided, I mean. I'd wager they don't give it back, right? <laughs> what? Can't tell the Dan in that? Or about why you want to kill all the lords? Oh, like you don't have anything to hide? The Blazing Sword. It's powered by the burning astral energy of the Master Core I possess. So why don't you explain how it manifested into the shape of that beast, hmm? Just how did you manage that? What? We did How that? am I supposed to know? My memories are complete blank, remember? <sighs> Fine, be that way. It's not like we ever trusted each other any... <sighs> Little girl with owl. Maybe? You can never tell in anime. You have to be careful. We're always out to get you. Oh no, they sent us back. She's still not awake? Not yet. Her injuries aren't serious, but she's severely weakened. Must have been quite a fight. There's nothing we can give her? If only. What with the beatings we've taken lately? We're barely getting by on the little provisions we have as it is. That bad, huh? If there are no supplies here, then... That's it. We need Doc. Doc? The same Doc that took care of you? <laughs> God damn it. Yeah. We are going back, back to the town. Cool. If anyone can help us, it's Just, him. you know... In that case, five minutes later. For us? I'd go myself, but I'm tied up here for now. Not a problem. Leave it to me. Now maybe, maybe something's gonna happen in the town. Oh, we got a little scene here. I wonder what that girl's deal is. Never imagined anyone would ever come from outside the walls of Calaglia. It's really not that big of a deal. There are more realms out there than just Calaglia, you know. Maybe it's right, who would want to come you, here? But I've been behind those walls for as long as I can remember. Of course, I knew there was more out there. But it sure didn't feel like it when unscalable walls are trapping you in. I hate to burst your bubble, but the rest of Dana isn't much better. The world's full of lords who are just as bad as Balsef. I know. That girl must have had her reasons for coming over to our territory. Trying to do tappy fingers. Even so, I can't nice actually reach really myself without going out of the camera of range. It might not mean much to you, but that's reason enough for me to be happy. I'll stop making fun of the characters. No, I won't. When we keep making fun of the characters. But yeah, like, we'll see if there's okay, events that go. need to be taken care of over at uh, Doc's place, that little village area. We're gonna skip these guys. We're starting to get a little too strong to worry, and I'm remembering the combat, so 
I'm not too worried about it. But if there's no like events or quest over here, what they really should have done is just stated that they were sending someone out to get Doc or have Doc in the village since they had all the injured there. That would have worked. This screams that there's treasure up here. Hold on. Mazgul, that's the place we're at. Really? No treasure? This is a travesty. It's so quiet. Been bamboozled. From now on, no one is going to be whipped or killed here ever again. Good. I'm gonna look for treasure before we go. Though I think we already got like an owl over here. Talk to a couple of them. Amazing, we don't have to mine any more fuel just to be just for the Rena to burn it. <laughs> Never in all my years did I ever think I would live to see this day. Thank you, thank you both so much. Gather round, everyone. I've got the goods you've all been waiting for. So it looks like the little militia is helping, or the rebellion now militia, I guess, helping get everyone set up. I want to make sure, since the guards are gone, there's places we should be able to get to now. And you always gotta keep a lookout for treasure. I like that our um, semi-sprint button, like it's not that much faster, but it is faster. Works going up ladders. That's, that's nifty, I like that. Yeah, buddy, scrap meat. And we're not going to find anything really good here, uh, stealing from the slaves and orphans, are we? But if I can find a single life bottle, absolutely worth it. Nobody here. Alright, next set. This should be the last area if I remember the map right. I'm so happy I can't stop laughing knowing the Rena will never beat me again. Those days are officially over. <laughs> My neighbors are probably like, what the fuck was that? Grilled fish. There's no point in reading it unless you plan on making it. But don't be a cunt. Don't be more of a cunt. Here, nope. People putting their lives together. Doesn't look like anything in those guys, because we get to them from in front. Can't go in those ones, can't go in these ones. Alright, we are good. Oh, wait. Over here. Yeah, it's not looking like much of anything. Not huge on those RPGs where you just run into people's homes and steal their stuff because you're the chosen one. But I'm sure once we get to more civilized areas, that's what we're gonna frickin' do. Hey there, Doc. Hmm? Who are you? It's me, Iron Mask. Did, did the half-mask not give it away? These days I go by Alfin. I finally remembered my name. These days? You mean not yesterday? Alfin? I heard that well, no, he's been gone for two or three stuff. weeks. That's fair. Wait, you're telling me you're the liberator of Calaglia? Our own Iron Mask? Of all the people. I told you, I'm Alfin now. And I didn't overthrow Balsef alone. Even so, that's no small feat you've accomplished. And you managed to get your face back, too. That woman with you, the Renin? You know about her. Only what I've heard from rumors. I wasn't sure I believed it. But now I suppose I must. Doc, she... Thank you. You sure you should be saying that to a Renan? I'm not saying it to any old Renan. I'm saying it to you, young lady. I only helped because it was in my interests as well. Of course, I would imagine as much. But that doesn't change the end result. The two of you defeated Balsef, and now all of us are free. That is a fact. Thanks, Doc. I should be the one thanking you. I'll never be able to repay what you two have done. Anyway, I'm guessing you didn't come here just to catch up. Uh, right. We need your advice. We found a girl who's collapsed from exhaustion, and she needs medicine. 
Do you know anything that could help? Hmm. If she's that weak, she may need a nutritional boost. The herbs I have here won't be enough. Oh. Have you tried searching Kirt Garrison? No. We passed it on our way here, but... With all the Renin soldiers gone, that place should be empty now. If we're lucky, maybe they left something you can use. No, except for all those waggles they just left behind to murder anybody who enters. Good idea. We'll take a look. Experience points, you say? All right. Kirt Garrison. If I'm not mistaken, that's located off to the side of the railroad tracks. Wherever it is, just make it quick. Right now, I feel like the writing's in a bit of a weird place. You look happy. Do I? I guess I am. Getting thanked for everything by someone I actually know? It made it really hit home that we made a difference. That guy's a strange one, though. Doc? I don't think he's that odd. He is, though. He thanked me, a Renan, for helping, despite everything my people have put him through over the years. He's free now. He doesn't have to act nice around my kind. He's not acting. He means it. And like he said before, he was thanking you as an individual, Xion, not just some Renan. That's what makes it so strange. Would you have preferred he yelled and threw rocks at you? I'm not saying that. It's just hard for me to understand him. <sighs> Okay, off we go. You, lady who helped free my people from generations of servitude. How dare you show your face here, you filthy swine. What? Ah, crap. I saw sparklies, I was gonna double back. Actually, we might be doubling back anyways. Sparkles. Was it over this way? Does not look like it, but I'll take that boy. <laughs> Note to self, you cannot escape from monsters while getting mining nodes. That went well. Together, that wasn't even a problem. Okay, let's try opening the map rather than going around. Not the Cave of Salty. Okay. Just... Yeah, that looks like what we're doing. So if we're here, we're going out. Either up or down. Probably up since it's mostly clear that way. Feel like it'll be a shorter path. More fish. Aha! <laughs> Just run by, scoop a carp out of the lake. Will it be our downfall again? Aha! <laughs> Antidote rocks for free! Alright, what are we looking for? Treasure chest? Quest chest? Nope. Money is nice. This looks like a quest chest. Nope. Uh, we check containers or something. Over food. Wardrobe. medicine and cured garrison guardhouse. Ah. Uh, there we go. I'm blind. Actually, I should be I wearing my glasses. It. How would I know? I'll be right back. It matches the description we were given, at least. No use standing around here hemming and hawing. Let's take it back and see. I hope you're right. There's no way I'm coming all the way back here. Just to be safe, I think before we head back to Ulzebek, 
We should maybe have Doc double check this is the right stuff. All right, but let's make it quick. Okay, much better. Now I match the model, you know, but for my hair being too long and my beard being untrimmed. Not that I can get a good beard on my model, that is something that anime doesn't do well. Alright, that guy on, we got our hands back, baby. Actually, my hair isn't too far off of anime hair. It's just thicker and longer in the back. These boys. Well, a little sparkly sparkly. I like having materials. Pepper is good. Pepper goes on everything. You can use it more than salt at least, healthily. Uh, are we bringing these back to Doc? Oh, Doc, the medicine. Okay. I was going to say, are we just taking it back? Check this shit out. Did you find anything useful? We think this might work, but we wanted you to take a look at it first. Let's see. Ah, this stuff. Yes, this'll work. I'd hurry over and give it to the girl right away. Right, then we'll do that now. Say, Iron Mask. No, sorry. It's Alfin now, right? Are you and that young woman planning to stick together moving forward? Uh, yeah, I think so. Hmm, I see. You know, I think things just might be starting to change. What do you mean? I'm not sure of that myself. But I feel like after being stalled for a long time, the gears of progress are finally starting to turn again. I imagine people are going to have things to say about the two of you. But you simply keep doing what you feel is right. If you ever get tired and need to rest, feel free to come back here. Until then, take care of yourself. Thanks, Doc. Aww. The old man likes us. Apparently, little girl's name is Tilsa. Or no. That's the... Okay, that's the rebellion doctor chick, I think. Okay. Fair. I'm being judgy for no reason. I like that we get those little warning indicators if we piss off something in range. Right now, we're doing a lot of little main quest fetch questy BS. But this is what it is. Like, they could have just thrown in that line when we left to go find the medicine. Then we could have said, this must be it. Let's take it back to Tilsa. Is this what you asked for? Perfect. That'll do nicely. I had a feeling you'd come through for us. With this, the little one should be right as rain in no time. I think I'm just bitter over Neo. I can't believe it. Not often we get visitors from Cislodia around I'm here. I'm looking for problems. Cislodia? Calaglia's neighbor. One of the five Psychonauts was good. What with that wall and Shouldn't the way, be so, so I pessimistic. guess it's not surprising. But I've never actually met someone from the outside world before. Up till now. The only time the gates ever opened was to let Renan convoy units in and out. No one ever thought to stow away and hitch a ride out? This place might be a living hell, but when next door is a living hell too, you start thinking it doesn't matter much one way or the other. So you're Rinwell, and you're with the Cislodian resistance known as the Silver Swords. Nifty name. Your organization sent a group of you to establish contact, but you're the only one who made it through. That sound about right? Lately, our people's oppression has become more and more severe. When we heard rumors that you had staged a successful rebellion in Calaglia, we hoped that maybe you could help us. News sure gets around quickly, huh? 
If you ask me, it's awfully convenient she just happened to show up now. Certainly raises a lot of red flags. Please, I swear it's yeah. true. My people are dying. I risked my life trying to get here so I could find help. It also okay. kind of matches. Like, why would they go across the border? You did well. We'll take it from here. And join another resistance group when their people <laughs> are suffering. On, You're not really thinking. We'll join of course, her. they'd show up Alfin, after you guys running. successfully won. Like, oh my God, we need that. The we need the All Star team. We work together to overthrow the Lords. That was the deal. Remember? Wait, is that a Renan? What is this? Take it easy. It's complicated, but she's on our side. She helped to find some medicine for you. She did? But no, she's a... I, I can't believe it. The Renans from other realms could attack at any time. That's for you all to worry about. I've got bigger fish to fry. That Sword of Alfin's is our best weapon. We can't just go lending him to other lands. Even if you keep him here, the blade's as good as useless without me on board. And what makes you think I can't persuade you, Bright Eyes? Because you can't touch what her. What makes you think you can? Last I checked, <laughs> you couldn't even touch me. Enough! Alfin, what do you want to do? I want to go fuck up Lords. I, I know all too well the hardships the slaves of this realm had to endure. That's why I took up the sword. To help them. If Danans are being oppressed in other realms, then... then I have to help them, too. Nath has a point. We can't discount the possibility of further attacks. But now, our struggle has grown. It's become much larger than just liberating the people of Calaglia. We can't be in two places at once, Zephyr. True. Which means we're limited in our options. We play this the same way we did with Balsef. Yeah. Can't hear that guy's name without thinking it. I have a bad feeling about this. You and me both, but it's too late for regrets. Jeez, really? You don't say. So, you're really going, huh? Just the four of you? Uh, afraid so. Look after the place while we're away. <laughs> Always the smooth talker. We'll do what we can to hold down the fort. We've got the Renans to keep us busy. Good luck. Just remember. Yeah, yeah, don't go killing anyone without good reason. I get it. I'm not about to repeat what they did. Bringing Hoss with us. Okay. Let's move, people. I've got a bad feeling Hoss is going to die. He seems like one of those guys who's going to be a sacrifice at some point. Zephyr. Do you think we'll really be able to wipe the Renans off the face of Dana? Who said anything about doing that? But we have to in order to survive, don't we? Now that you have the blazing sword and have shown that we really can win this fight, do you really think we should go around killing every last Renan? But what else are we supposed to do? Say we go around killing Renans so they don't kill us first. In turn, that'll just make more and more of them want to kill us. Where does it end, once you enter such a vicious cycle? Is that why you told Grenar not to kill any Renans without a good reason? I'm not saying we should forgive and forget what they've done to us. But we can't let ourselves be dragged down by our own hatred, either. Hatred comes in many forms. And there's no one solution that will work in every situation. We have to keep searching for new ones, if we're going to survive. It's a lifelong journey, finding the answers. That goes for you, too. You have to come up with your own answers. Hey, Zephyr. 
Why do you keep fighting? What do you mean? Until I met you and the Crimson Crows, all the Danans I ever knew just accepted their lot in life as slaves. Hell, even I was like that. But all of you in the resistance The over-under is that he had a kid who even died. Even when you have no hope of winning, you keep on fighting. Why is that? That's the stereotype. Come on. That's an easy one. I just refuse to live life as a slave. That's all. Better to die fighting for freedom than to live as a slave, huh? Let me ask you a question. Let's see. What does it mean to you to not be a slave any longer? I not guess going that route. it means At living a yet. life not being ruled by the Renans, right? But what about the Danans who died standing up to the Renans? Are they still slaves? <sighs> Would they be truly free if all they did was follow my orders and die without knowing what it was they were doing? But that's... Being a slave isn't just a position. It's also a state of mind. Don't become my slave, Alfin. Into the unknown. Yes, that's a hard one. You have to take out any enemy combatants, that's for sure. And then it becomes a game of kind of back down. Normally I don't pick on the weak. The aggressing army has to be the first one to. Ah, oh, he got me just off the edge of his hit. But yeah, you've got him. How come that didn't work? Anyways. In order to do the one step there? back kind of thing. Some kind of castle? The country yeah. that first Another started aggression basically right. has to do a stand down. And then both sides have to do a little ooh, a retreat of, of forces of <laughs> one at a time. Giving up not enough that they'd be in a vulnerable, well, a super vulnerable position, but enough that, right, aggressions are coming to a halt. Nothing else down this way. Alright. Up we go. Right, we can fast climb. Else down that way. Said you always gotta be on the lookout for treasure. That kinda looks like a place where they could have hit a cave. But no. Rinwell, Plenty right? of sparklies this way. It's nice to meet you. Does that little white animal follow you everywhere? He's not a little white animal. His name's Hoodle, and he's a baby owl. Hoodie. <laughs> and he's the only friend I have. Oh, we shouldn't be dodging everything. Level eight bees. Don't go charging oh, off like that. Blade. Blade. I just noticed he doesn't have one of these, like, special attack things. Um, Zephyr. Zephyr doesn't have one of those special attacks. Anything else down here? We know those guys. Nothing there. We're gonna skip those ones. Surprise, motherfucker! Right, here goes. Luckily, they don't do back attacks, or else that might have been bad. One final push. Right, give them all we got. These little ones are hardly worth our time. Less talking, more pummeling. Yeah, but you kill the little ones now, so that you're able to take the big ones later on. Keep them coming. You like that taste of freedom, kid? Right now we're ten. I think I could get used to it. Hoodle! What's got you so worked up, Hoodle? Oh no. Is that? It's sad too. Watch out! They know we're here. Flying zoogles, huh? This is going to get interesting. Is it? They're nothing I haven't seen before. Yeah, we've been Shield. murdering them. I'll shoot them down. You finish them off. Got it? We have no problem there. Unless these are bigger. 
bigger wasps. Knock a flying enemy out of the now. sky, and it's, it's as good as done. Right. I'll see what I can do. It's over. You're wrong. Right. Damn it. Do it. That's possible. It's driving me mad. Here I come. Oh my god, so difficult compared to the boss fight they had me do before. What was it those Zoogles were attacking just now? I know what they were attacking. Is that? Damn it, Hootie. What? It's nothing. I only helped because it was convenient. We couldn't have moved forward without clearing out those Zoogles. <laughs> I don't know what's got you ticked off at me this time, but I suggest you keep your hands away from me. No one asked you to help. Rinwell, she healed its wounds. She's not trying to hurt it. Can she touch can animals, so sir? <laughs> Does that activate the curse too, do you think? Oh my god, that size difference. They look like they're talking to each other. He's probably happy to see another owl. I don't think Hoodle's ever met one before. You guys have to he tell me what he's saying in the chat. The only one. Or the comments on the YouTube video. Does anyone speak owl? Oh. Wait, come back. Give me my accessory. Oh, he's sad now. Damn he it. Barely got to say hi. At least we know it's out there. I'm sure we'll run into it again somewhere. Yeah, we'll, we'll find you some more owl yeah. buddies. Don't be sad, little I'm boy. I'm sure we will. Right, Hoodle? Ooh. Ooh. Together, that wasn't even a problem. Nothing else down here, right? Nope. Ha-ha! Double time! I'm always impressed how good of a shot you are, Xion. What do you mean? Just that all I'm good for is throwing myself at things with all my might. By comparison, your way is more... How do I put it? Precise. It's not like I'm that good of a... <laughs> Look, that's just how it is with guns. If you miss, it's a wasted bullet you can't get back. Is that why you're always aiming to exploit enemies' weak spots? I wouldn't say every shot is that deliberate, but that is part of it. For example, if I see a flying enemy, I'll often go for their wings. No, also, aim for center body mass. if I see a jumping enemy without wings, I know they're an easy target because they can't get out of the way while in the air. In your case, I bet it's easier for you to deal with enemies that stay on the ground, right? Definitely. Things that can fly circles around me are a real pain to deal with. Exactly. It's important to keep your enemy's movements in check. True. Although your shots have the added benefit of stunning enemies, so it's easier to swipe materials from them. And it's really helped out. It's nothing, really. As long as you keep doing your part when we fight, I'd say we're even. Let me know if you're struggling. Ah, huh. traveling merchant. Cliche that I like. What do you have? You got apple gel and life bottles. We've got plenty of apple gel. We could probably use another life bottle, but not right yet. Make 2,600 there. Good forgeries. Not the right word to use. <laughs> but. Yeah, now we'll wait until we get to the next town. And then we pro... Oh! Hey! Once you discover one, approach them and inspect them. Try looking in inconspicuous areas like treetops or even inside boxes. Brain glasses. Okay, bye bye buddy. I haven't noticed, have all the owls been wearing... I'm surprised there are owls here too. Yeah. There are more of them around than I Whatever thought. Whatever accessory they're going to give me. What are you staring for? Do all Danon fighters look like you? What, this getup? 
I pulled this number together from scrap and parts I salvaged throughout the years. Though now I'm feeling self-conscious, seeing how put together you seem to be. Oh, oh no, I was just curious. Did you fortify your right side more because that's your dominant side? Partly, but mostly because my body's a little worse for wear after all these years fighting. That makes sense. So you take extra care to protect your dominant side with more armor. Smart. Is fighting all you think about? Just staring at him like a serial killer. Alright. Rest. What do we got? Mushrooms. Cooking defense up. He heals CP after a battle. Could be good, but I'm going to hold... Oh, actually, we got plenty of that. Oh, but it only lasts five minutes? Hmm. And that's probably why it's lasting like 20 minutes long. Okay. Yeah, we want to hold on to that probably and just refresh this guy. Who else made it? Well, off we go. Down into the crypts? What could possibly go wrong in the tombs? Coronavirus bats! Run! No. I get in trouble for that. Yeah, this guy looks solid. Statues my ass. Those things are going to come up and hit us. I take it we're heading through here then? Everything all right, Zephyr? Yeah, it's nothing. What is that? A ring? It was my wife's. Your wife? You never mentioned uh, here we go. being married. That surprising? You said was. So then is she gone? Was it the Renans? No, she was sick. I couldn't get her the medicine she needed, and then she was gone. I'd always wanted to show her the world as it could be. I'm sorry. Don't be. There are plenty of people out there more deserving of your sympathy than me. But... but... Uh... <sighs> Let's go. What is this place anyway? What's with these columns and steps? No idea. I've never been here before either. Rena's convoy squads probably used it in the past. I guess. It's definitely seen better days. You wouldn't know anything, would you, Xion? Nope. And I'm not interested in learning either. <sighs> Actually, these are Danon ruins. See? You can tell by the way the columns are decorated and stuff. They're all old Danon designs. Interesting. Are you saying these things were built more than 300 years ago then? Yeah. I have no idea what they were used for though. That's not the interesting part. It's amazing part. to think our ancestors were capable of making such structures. Hopefully there'll come a time when us Danons will be able to walk through here freely again. The interesting That's part exactly what you're is that that implies for, even as a slave, well, she has kind of like yeah. a high level of education, right. which I wouldn't expect from anybody in the other region we just came from. Balsax territory was uh, not doing too well. And look, ooh, aliens. Get him! Ropers, that can be bad. Level 14 and kind of strong. I'm not gonna lie. He's doing something. Yeah, I knew it. Get you away from. He's going blob dub. Rising wiper! Run you through! Do it! Panic coming! Matil! This 
Get him. Now, I know I'm poking at uh, Zephyr for having the cliche backstory and especially the ring around the necklace. And some of you might notice I think I could get used the rings around my necklace and say, now, hold on. You think these are... Yeah, I knew it. Deceptive my ass. Now, if it had purposefully not come out until my back was turned, that would have been super cool. I don't know what that one's doing. Anymore. Oh, he's insta nuking people. Sorry, I need to focus here because he already killed one of them. Yes, I do have rings around my necklace, but mines are more, I'm going to save them, okay, gotta watch out for that, and keep them close to my heart until I find someone worth giving one to. Imagine there were Zoogles out there I don't know if that's cheesy or cliche, That's because Zoogles don't come from nature. Who knows what else is lurking out there? How do I guess we have to be prepared for anything? How do I there was a button to do healing? Recovery. There we go. Oh wait. That to recover all. Doesn't matter. Okay. Eventually, I do want to try 3D printing a few rings, and more than likely, if I get good enough at it's it, freezing in here. I'll make After one that it was outside, will be for someone else down the line. It Not that I have any idea who that is. Explodia. It's the polar opposite of Calaglia, so I'd get used to it if I were you. That said, there's rings like is the little guy my okay? grandmother used to have that I could pass down to someone as well. Oh, don't worry about Hoodle. He's from Cislodia. Probably just nerves is all. He's not really used to being around other people this much. He's an introvert. I know your pain, buddy. Rinwell, how about filling them in on what to expect from Cislodia? I like the oh, expression yeah. of Hoodle's eyes. Mm, let's see. Well, for starters, that's part of why I want the advanced nobody tracking. Trusts nobody. Come I again. want my eyes to be able to track what I'm looking at on screen like if I'm looking down towards never know like, chat or if I'm looking you. up into the camera, all that stuff. Plus, That's all the facial animations entry, are pretty apparently. cool. I almost had it working, too. Which sucked. Their official title is the Bureau of Civil Observation. They've got cronies undercover everywhere, observing us at all times. Ah, so it's like so, a police state instead of a slave state. Was an everyday part of life in Calaglia. Difference is, in Cislodia, it's not just Renans. They've got Dan and spying on each other, too. Or in other words, there's the Snake Eyes themselves, plus all their small time informants. All it takes is someone squealing on you, and it's straight to labor camp. No questions asked, no goodbyes. Of course, informers are rewarded handsomely for their deceit. Everyone's always got one eye open, waiting for the moment to inform on someone before being tattled on first. Hence the not trusting one another, huh? In that case, what do you think they'll make of us? Hard to say. Although, not being from Cislodia will probably help, honestly. What do you mean? It's a Renan and her, uh, than even your own people. Well, guard staff. It, Why doesn't anyone take a stand? Not everyone is strong enough to stand, Alfin. <clears throat> That's why the world needs people like us.
Fishy, 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 fishy. Salmon, baby. Let's go. We need some fatty tuna. I actually don't eat fish much. I would not make it as a pescatarian. Shrimp I can do. I don't know if I've ever even bothered to try lobster. It's just it's expensive fish, so I figured not to go for it. I've eaten salmon before. Normally I don't it, pick on it's not like it bothers me or anything. I just don't particularly go out of my way for it, and there's usually always another option. One thing I definitely want to try, though, is on the smoker I've got, I want to do some smoked salmon. Get a bit of free damage out on those guys. Chances are we'll get that back. Something you wanted to say? Another notch in the old belt. Keep them coming. You like that taste of freedom, kid? <laughs> I think I could get used to it. It has for certain enemy tasks can inflict physical ailments such as poison and paralysis. Are one of my guys poisoned? No, right? Yeah, no, we're good. We gotta fight these guys, because they're this level 14 and they're tanky, choice. which means I gotta get more levels, more damage or to a town where I can get more items. Four, three, four. Down. I think I am poisoned. And she's tearing it. Sick. Okay. Making a dent in him. Everything's coming up, Zephyr. I hope we don't lose Zephyr. Pistol barrel mass. I'm gonna skip those ones. Is that okay? It's those guys. What's the map look like that takes me down there. That goes up and around to something. But we need to go down this way. So I think we're gonna go this way because I also think it drops down. It's probably one of those ones where if we beat it, we'll get um, extra. He's gonna blast her if I'm not. She sucks on those ones. And I don't think there's a way to stop him from doing that. Oh, that heals her. Oh, I'm gonna abuse the shit out of that. I don't think it heals her if she's already alive, but if she's down, I think it brings her up from downstate. Which is sick. Spare apple gel. Do we want to use the spare apple gel? We don't have to. We'll use it later if there's a fight. Some recovery and know we can come back for one. I think we're gonna run into a lot of apple gels we don't need because I am fairly good at economically moving through my mana and stuff. Treasure. Yeah, we want treasure. It's gonna be a lot of poison, but we want treasure. Don't tell me. You're so Uh, I hate the poison, I didn't mean to. 
hard to tell exactly how it's working, but I can switch my targets just by attacking a little bit. They just have to be the closest thing to me. The hard part is it wants to... See if this does what I think it does. No, it's just gonna end it. Um, it wants to run up to hit the other enemy, but sometimes it says, or most of the time I should say, it says, no, I'm gonna hit this one because it's closer. That must be what you're targeting. I don't know exactly what that's about. It's handy. I like it. But it's a little awkward in figuring out what it's going to do. Orange gel, good. Leave those guys. Yeah. <laughs> uh, screw it. For right now, we're still good. Down here, we got a big plant. I'm gonna save, just in case it makes us fight all of them at once, but I think we're gonna fight the little ones and then be able to take on the big one, maybe? What do you guys think? That is one enormous stray. I don't think we can take it hey, right look now. At me. Oh no, we gotta fight all of them at once. How are you feeling? How 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 you do? Let's see. We'll use one of those apple gels just to make sure we're at full. We've got our extra party members, so balls to the wall. Okay, he's only 15. We should be able to deal with that. We don't Depending have much on. choice. That's the button. Had to remember the button to switch. No, bud. We're trying to clear these guys. He's got two points to target. He's staying on that one. That works beautifully. We're going to double hit these guys. Dodge that guy. We got this one. Oh, okay, that guy goes big. Once we hit the keys, I've got to hope he doesn't respawn. If they've got respawned, we got a bit of trouble. What are you doing? You're doing that. Okay, I'm not worried about that. You still lag right away, bud. He's a little tanky, but we're getting... We're getting shots out. Dodge these guys. Probably need to use the burning blade on him. Yep, that that sucks a little bit. He'll probably res me. Good. Burn blade. Burn blade. Blast him. Yeah, we got this guy. What are you doing? Supercharged. I don't really like that. Oh, get out of there. I'm sorry. I put you in the wrong spot. I don't know what that is, but that's a big blast. 
Right. Oh, I'm a baddie. I'm a big bad baddie. We're gonna try and apple gel ourselves a little bit until we're at about seven of those guys. Careful. Not I'm on it. I mean, the good news is, I think he's invulnerable, and he is just fucking going for it. So, as long as we abuse that, we're pretty golden. And this guy seems pretty dead set on just AoEing, which is a pain in my ass. Alright, use another one of these since he's up at that point. But he's going. Can't go in when he does those, but I can go in now. And if I can get... Yeah, don't know what he's doing, but we're gonna back off. Trying those things. He's just. Yep, we gotta get away from that. Nine hundos. Dodge, because he's doing a big spike. Core break. I don't know where his core was. I didn't see it. I'm gonna go for it. Bring her back to life without burning an extra potion. We did it. We got him. I don't think I put in the thing. Hold on. Do I have... At one point, when I was doing the uh, hashtag bongos one, 10 more CP, beautiful. Um, there was like a sound one, which was like the ladies and gentlemen, and what have we, got here? we got them. Oh, and then the I music starts the playing. Those things are worth a lot. You're a little bookworm, aren't you? <laughs> All right. Yep, nothing else up here. Could we have jumped up here? Hold on. Nah, that wasn't gonna happen. Probably didn't miss anything up there except for that one apple gel. I guess those just respawned, or it's telling me that's what I gathered there? Maybe? Who knows? Got an apple gel back anyways. Well, take it. I'm not too worried about apple gels. Let her do some CP healing, probably. Oh, look, he's a, he's a real boy. And there's two of them because, well, look at that dude. Heal me for a while, though. At least so far. I like my little sheep tail. Last. See you continue on in that thing. Something you wanted to say? Goodbye. I've used a bit too much healing. Ah, you're fine. We just need another place to rest and no. Uh... A little water's not going to hurt it. Just need to keep away from any new boss fights. Okay. 
I guess that's the way you do it. You gotta move them. Mushrooms. Mushrooms for days. Uh, no hootie owl. I have yet to see a hootie owl. I don't know if they're supposed to be in here or not. It'd be such a pain in the ass if there's a hootie owl in every not zone. Not much further now. The exit will take us straight into Cislodia. <sighs> You're brooding again. What's eating at you? We defeated Balsif and liberated Calaglia from the Renans. Now, we're on our way to rescue our fellow Danans in Cislodia. I'm committed to helping our people. You know that. But then, what happens after that? What's our endgame here? Good question. The Danans vastly outnumber the Renans. Yet we rarely take up arms, because we know that when it comes to firepower, we don't stand a chance. Even if you succeeded in overthrowing the Lords and freeing Dana, then what? Lenigus would still hover over us, the Renan motherland behind it. If they so desired, the Renans could potentially use their might to wipe us off the planet in a second, no matter how powerful that blazing sword of yours is. So what you're saying is we don't stand a chance. So what the heck are we even doing? There's no sense in discarding today's victory for tomorrow's loss. If fighting yields even a single day of freedom, it will all have been worth it in the end. Who knows? Maybe that's the day we make preparations for the battle that will free us for good. Speaking pragmatically, the fact the Renans don't exterminate us all in spite of their technical advantage has to mean one thing. They need us. It's up to or us they to don't have the ability to. Before they cotton on to our plan. It's just an apparent way, overwhelming advantage, but they don't have the resources. Table. You want to negotiate with the Renans? It's galling, I know. But it's the only way to survive while securing our freedom at the same time. Th that's... But even so, we can't just... If you lot are done talking, there's a lord we came to overthrow. What about you, Shion? What do you plan on doing after we've given the Lords the boot? All I know is, my reasons for fighting aren't the same as yours. I'm through answering these pointless questions. wonder how they did eyelashes on theirs. That's one of the things, while I was working on my model, the way my modeler did it, it worked well for what they aimed for. Like, obviously, this all works. Like, I've got hands, everything. I really like the, um would you say the bone movement on the hand that each finger actually does pretty well and then mouth wise it's got the phonetics which seems to be what um is being used here when these guys are talking right they don't have like live facial real-time movements they seem to have more phonetics and i think looking at it i'm pretty sure that they've got like uh, phonetics for the Japanese language, which really does make sense. But, uh, right, the way they did the eyelashes on mine, there's a portion of it that's actually like painted on the mesh of the face. So this is Lodia. How far is it to the capital? We've still got a ways to go. Also, the Zugals here are different than those in Calaglia, so be careful. Got it. Sounds like we should make sure we stick close Zoobles. together as we keep moving. Agreed. Uh, hey, Shion! It'll be hard for me to use my rifle in a pinch if we're all bunched together. I'll follow behind the rest of you. Right. Makes sense. What's up with her? She seems even more upfront than back in Calaglia. 
In case you forgot, we're in enemy territory now. If you don't get serious and focus on the task at hand, you'll be inviting trouble. Hmm. Don't take it personally. I think that's just the way she is. Plus, you have to remember, with those thorns of hers, she's probably not used to anybody being all that friendly to her. The fact that you can't feel pain means you probably end up getting closer to her than she's used to. You really think so? We're talking about someone who came down to Dana all by herself. But you don't see her homesick for Lenigus at all, do you? No. That alone speaks volumes about how difficult her whole situation must be. Yeah. It's your job as her partner to understand that and give her the support she needs. You two are going to be stuck together for a while. So, the sooner you make nice, the better. Make nice? Yep. Now come on. I get that they're not exactly on the best of terms, but... <laughs> you want to keep going on about Is the model, going to be okay with these people? I don't want to interrupt any of the cutscene stuff in case there's stuff important. Rinwell, and also people too far are ahead. probably here to hear you it. never know where Zoogles might be lurking. Oh, we'll be fine. We've been able to handle them up until now. Still, better that you hang back a bit. No way. I'm the one who asked you to come here in the first place, remember? Yeah, but if we lose you, we won't know where to go. Besides, it's old guys like me who should be sticking their necks out first. But... We need you in order to get in contact with the Resistance in Cislodia. The old so guys gotta look out for you youngins. Okay? Okay. Thanks. Now you've got me wondering, how'd you make it to Calaglia in the first place? I find it hard to imagine you didn't run into Zoogles along the way. <sighs> Are you good at hiding or something? Uh, yeah, that's it. I'm just really good at staying out of sight. Wow. Still, you had to have been pretty lucky to have made it the whole way unscathed. Lucky indeed. Next one. It's crazy to feel just how much the temperature has changed from crossing over a single peak. Yeah, maybe if you weren't wearing a Is lace really wedding difference? dress. Definitely. Calaglia was hot. Oh, right. Can you can't feel temperatures period, either. So. Uh, uh, achoo! You might not be able to feel it, but it sure looks like your body responds to it just the same. You can Seems like it. So if I sneeze, I guess that it's a sign that it's getting chilly. They say that sneezing is often the first sign you're coming down with the cold, too. That's all the more reason you need to be careful with. Ha choo! Was that also a sneeze? I just bit my tongue, that's all. <laughs> no, it sounded a lot different from mine, but I could swear it was still. It wasn't a sneeze, okay? <laughs> they didn't do it right. Guess we both need to be careful out here in the cold. Okay, birth of a hero. Let's go. One more. <sighs> Is it hard leaving Calaglia behind? No. Actually, it's kind of a relief to be away from there. Really? What makes you say that? Because it was getting to the point where every man, woman, and child would come up and talk to me like they knew me. I could barely find a moment to breathe. Let alone relax. Well, what you did was kind of a big deal, you know. You overthrew a Renan Lord and burst open the gates of fire. Yeah, but that was only because I had the Blazing Sword with me. We wouldn't have made it to Balsef without you and the Crimson Crow, Zephyr. Uh, maybe so. But you're still the one who took him out in the end. It's only natural for people to look up to those who protect them. You're a hero to those people. I never asked to be one. I, I never asked to take the place of a lord in people's minds. I don't want it. You're a strange one, Alfin. That's for sure. <laughs> if that's how you really feel, then hold on to that. Listen to those thoughts when you feel lost and don't know what to do. If you can do that, you won't lose sight of who you are or what the right path to take is. Stop talking right like you're gonna to die. I don't like it. Alright. 
So anyways, with my model, there's um, like the eyebrows, or not eyebrows, eyelashes actually on the face mesh, kind of underneath. And then there's like a very little part of physical eyelash, I guess, or a little bump, you would say. Which way are we going? Go either way, but so we'll probably go up and double back. And then uh, there's like a flat plane that has like it's how would I describe it? Don't let them form a pack. It's a flat plane that sticks outwards. So it's like it's coming towards the viewer instead of being regular 2D um, facing perpendicular to the viewer, if that makes sense. And then they use that to extend out kind of two-dimensional eyelashes that stick out from the eye. And it looks like what I have to do is make a three-dimensional eyelash that kind of comes off of the model, like here, I have to lower my hand a little bit. Where my eye is, I need it to extend up forward a little bit off of the face mesh. I need to get rid of that flat plane because that's causing trouble when the application I'm using to apply the 52 blend shapes tries to do that. Um, then on top of that, the eyeball itself the from what she did from what we're used to back was it's because instead of like so a regular eyeball, I they had like I, I think the when I was looking on YouTube, people were doing Maybe it we that fire, the eye socket was hollow, but the against. inside was painted with like whites and grays and kind of shading. So it gives the appearance of a rounded eye. And to some extent, that's kind of a good idea right because your iris kind of rests up at the front and then there's that clear area that goes in and then like you've got the rest of the whites of the eyes but um obviously it's not the actual way an eyeball is nothing over there right yep but what she did was she has like the eye socket and inside the eye socket is like what you would expect on a person. It's pink and fleshy inside there. I don't know why, but it makes for a horrifying image. If I get rid of the whites of the eyes and the um, iris itself, it's like someone has gouged my eyes out and there's that red fleshy insides, which may be for Halloween, right? Normally I don't pick up but, uh, what makes that a bit of a problem is that for the eye whites, what she did was uh, this kind of layer that extends inside the base of the skull, and it's just like this sheet of white that's right behind the iris, but embedded through the eye socket. I'm sure I can put this and that's not bad. I mean, it works. You can see the whites of my eyes. If I zoom in on my model, everything still looks right with the way she sets it up. Um, but in terms of the blend shapes and the way that they're kind of looking to apply them. Sorry, just trying to figure out what goes where. So that's a back den. We might as well go through here. Well, there's a big one. An alpha ice one. Could you try to be less patronizing? That guy takes big leaps. We're gonna blast him. Juggling. Hit him hard. 40 hit combo. 2,200 damage. Who's alpha now, bitch? Check out these dog ears and tail. I'm the king. I have anything else to say about the model? 
Not really. I mean, that's pretty much the description of everything that it is. Um, the only thing to know is that what I feel like I've got to do is take out those irises, make the back of the eyeballs white, put in the shading that way, maybe adjust the mouth the same. What's this thing? Um, when I was applying the blend shapes, another issue I was having was that... Bite these guys. Um, the mouth... One... Lightning thrust. Interesting. For whatever reason, it wasn't, uh, the program wasn't able to detect all of the movements, and I think part of that had to do with the eyes going through so many other meshes. And so I had to combine a few, and then I accidentally ended up combining, I think, some of the mouth points, because those are overlapping with the base model she has. So I either have to make sure those are readily separated, which I think I'm about at the point where I know how to do that. And then I can try it again, um, probably without the eye whites, like I'll remove that mesh from the face. And then... I've used a bit too much healing. Yeah, you're almost on empty. It would suck if we had a boss fight, but I've got orange gels. But then uh, I can try running the code again and seeing if I can apply the blend shapes that way. And hopefully I won't have to make the eyeballs. But otherwise, I still plan on going through and like, trying to make a model off of some people's like concept art anyways. I guess arguably, if anybody has like good concept art, I'm open to the idea of potentially doing someone else's. Like completely for free, just mention me. Um, but I found some on like Google that I figured I'd just kind of attempt for shits and giggles. Blast him. See you continue on in that thing. Yes, my lady. Something you wanted to say? Consider yourself finished. Hey. That's some power you okay. wield. You're the one who did the heavy lifting. Okay. We testing, testing. Uh, okay. Really? For a second, no, I was freaking out. My mic sound. Don't I had the inkling to check it. Uh, yeah. And it wasn't okay. showing that there was any volume going. <laughs> Give me a mini panic attack. God damn it. Probably gonna rest in front of the little house. So it looks like we got one more fight here. Right, here These guys goes. are level 12. What level are we at? I was not paying attention, but we probably got something, right? From beating the big plant monster. This way. Yeah, you eat that blast. Finish him. Finish both of them. Pathetic. We are level 11. Damn, I thought we'd be at least 12 or 13. Duralor. Probably helps us build armor with buffs. Would you like to warm up some? Yeah. Aren't there people in there? You should let yourself unwind when you get the chance. I guess there's no arguing with that. Back's a little stiff. Hey. Hey there. Got room for a few more? Mm -hmm. This fire here passes no judgment. All are welcome to bask in its warmth. Hey! Alfin, wait. Did you forget what I said before? I know. I only want to learn a little more about our new realm. I see you've got a lot of luggage with you. What are you hauling around there? They're full of wares to sell, like medicine, plus my tools that I use to make accessories out of war from time to time. Oh. Did you say accessories? Accessories? You mean people down here in Donna wear them too? Now I'm intrigued. Just how good of a craftsman are you? I tell you what, I'm going to have to see some of your handiwork oh. for myself. What? Metal engraver. The metal engraver can craft accessories for your using for you using ore that you mine from mining points. Once you strengthen an accessory and activate new skills for it, you can even transfer those skills to a different accessory altogether. That's interesting. 
You can use ore to craft accessories. Once you select an accessory to craft, choose the ore you wish to use as its material. The rarity and the bonus skill belonging to that ore will be carried over into the accessory that's created. Horse can possess up to four skills with rare ones offering more skills. To activate these bonus skills, the accessories crafted from ores must be enhanced. These all have one skill? Or I can put other ores into that guy, maybe. And then they've got their base skill. Okay, well, let's see here. Immunity to poison. Somewhat good. No paralysis is probably decent. Lowers fire and water damage. We're in an ice area, so that might be handy. Light and dark damage we probably don't need yet. We can make four of the garnets. Attack we can't do. Penetration plus 30%. Solid. And the Enduro Ore we just got increases resistance by 30. And they cost a decent amount of gold themselves. I want... I kind of want these two. So let's try making this guy. Then we can increase our water damage. really what I'm after. What if we do this guy? Curse resistance, paralysis, poison resistance, even though it's the same stone? Oh, that's weird. Regular resistance up. And then the rank ones don't really do anything. Okay. Nullifying paralysis. Do some resistance as well. Enhancing accessories. Enhancing accessory raises its level and activates bonus skills. Doing so requires or another accessories. The rarer both of these things are, the greater the target accessory will level up when enhanced. Okay, so if I want to enhance him... This is interesting. We can probably throw in some more of these uh, parallax stones. Wind damage, water damage, curse resistant, water damage, poison resistance. Let's toss in the water damage, boys. And do we have a rank one that we can toss in? Yeah. Probably the way to go, right? Again, enhancement to level two. Okay. And that's that, I guess. Works. We'll hold on to that. Hmm? What do you think? Did I pass your test? Right. It's decent enough, I suppose. Not the prettiest thing I've ever seen, but it looks practical at least. If I come across any ore, I might be back. Until then, you better work on up in your game. Mm -hmm. I appreciate the feedback, lady. I won't let you down. You should be calling a she on yourself, not me, Runwell. I don't want to talk, Derry. You do it, Alfin. What? All right. <laughs> now, young lady, we mm -hmm. need to have a talking to. It's cold out here. Let's sit down and eat something so we can warm up. Good idea, but I'm not that hungry. Well, you should never go into battle on an empty stomach, and you never can tell when the enemy's going to attack, so... Mm -hmm. Shion, you don't have to beat around the bush. It's okay to admit that you're hungry. What other reason do you need to eat? Uh, Fine. Just great. On second thought, we need to eat, you guys. All right. 
I'll fix us all something good then. How about a regular repast among us Crimson Crows? What's he making for us? We get a recipe now? I'll take it. Nice. What a meal! You're a way better chef than I figured you'd be, Zephyr. Right. Yeah, that it was good. Thank you. I'm glad to hear you both liked it. Right. Want another plate? Like you said, it's not good to fight on an empty stomach. I'm uh, I'm good. Shion, eat the damn stuff, or I'll throw it away. All right, if you insist. After that, it took three tries making the same thing before Xi'an was finally satisfied. Vegetable soup recipe. I could go for a good vegetable stew, or at least a minestrone or something. Happy I haven't now, had Xi'an? that in forever. Yeah, I'd say so. She better be after all she ate. I stopped before I was full, though. What? Ooh, we can get in the cabin. Stop before I was full. She's a bottomless pit. She's a glutton. Maybe the magic consumes calories. I don't know. It's in here. Yep. Treasure. Chicken. We can make chicken nuggies. And tendies. Oh boy. Chicken nuggers. Okay. Off we go. Just want to see if we do rest here. There's no extra cutscene thing, and we'll probably just heal to full if we aren't already. It's awfully quiet around here. The snow will do that. It absorbs a lot of sound. Oh, that's Meaning interesting. It could be tougher to hear anything approaching. That's worrisome. It's rough that we have to be wary even of other Danans around here. I never what considered kind of that snow would be sound dampening. A society that works like this. Regardless of what kind, we're going to take them down, and that's that. Right. That's why we're here, after all. Actually, no, we don't have to cook. We'll just rest. I'll see you again tomorrow. And hopefully we keep the buff from the vegetable soup. Did we get a buff from vegetable soup? I should have checked that. All right, guys. Ready to go? Doesn't look good. Okay, anyways. Let's go this way. Start by grabbing these sparkles. And then this entire field can be checked so we're gonna loop up and then back down in there over and up that's the plan and i'm sticking to it we'll avoid some of the fighting though i think maybe i mean we're under leveled supposedly jump up there duh just look at the map of course we can't jump up there birds thorn ore that's the thing that gives us the um Oh, it looked like something good, and it's a level 3, which is solid. And I forgot to equip whatever I did. The anti-paralysis. Where are you going? Don't know where you think you're allowed to fly off to, but right now, you're my bitch. And things just got worse for you. Because the main man, Zephyr, is here. Ow. <laughs> Alright. Everything's coming up, Zephyr. You get him, Zephyr. You get him. There are a lot of wolves around here. Double check. Yeah, from here we're going south. Yeah, yeah, I see. You guys can go fucking piss off. Grab these guys. Go down through here. Normally Hit I one don't of them, because why not? Forget to put on our trinket again, because... Yes! Some good damage there. I can be asked to not miss. These little ones are hardly worth our time. Less talking, more pummeling. How much XP do you think these are actually giving me? 
Good one, Clyde. That was almost too easy. Uh, a little. All right. There. <laughs> Luckily, no fall damage, as far as I can tell. Then we gotta take a second to climb back up. Oh, well, thanks for stopping by. Have a good night's rest. Let's see. All right, none of these are alphas, so they should be quick, the quick cleanup. I can get one of them to break. There we go. Dive bomb, dodge out. We might need to change our... Arts abilities. Alright, jump at me. Now we ain't gonna bother with that. Takes an extra second to kill him. Might as well just get the XP. If we kill those two, do you think we actually get to. Oh, those are new. Alright, well first off, we save just in case, because it's been a while. I need to probably get better at keeping two files, too. And then, before I forget, let's go to... Yep, we can sign arts. Three on the ground, three in the air. Okay. Aerial attacks are all mirage to come back down, but I don't really have any other options, so... You got it. Lightning Thrust was the other one. They both cost one. They're knock-up. This one has electric, and I like electric, so we're gonna try that. Swallow Blade. Oh, and they're leveling up. So, see the count? up above the uh, little description there, 150 out of 500 for Mirage. We've used uh, 540 of 1,000 to get rank three, I guess, of Swallow Blade. We can probably put on one other guy here. Rising Wavern, we haven't used as much. That makes sense. Destruction, wide swing attack that ends with a ground crush that sends rock flying for some earth damage. Demon Fang fires a shock wave that runs along the ground. That can be good. I've used that before. That's common to the series. Um, it's a ranged attack for your melee guys, kind of. Flash. Alright, we'll try that one. That way we've got two sweep attacks and a uh, aerial knockup. Hopefully we'll be able to utilize. All right, you guys are looking sturdy. Fifteen berserker. Back in. These guys are a wee bit tanky. He's coming for us. Need to get better at not spamming the aerial attack. Do this because we need more damage. You continue on in that vein. Uh, yes, hey, my lady. Something you wanted to say? That actually does give us way more aerial reach, though, which lets us launch over and get behind them. I like the mobility of it. The mobility is really good. I can feel my power growing. Alright. Uh treasure. Always go for treasure. Guess I miss 
read the landing. Life bottle, definitely need the hose. Oh, and that reminds me too. Okay, hold on. I like how we're getting level threes on all these now, but um, which one was it? Skill panel. We need to make it so that she can take a hit. And we've got plenty of leftover stuff, so proceed with that. Burning strike costs two, beginner fire art, I'm not too concerned about. Attack and elemental strength when near death, Nog, again, not too concerned about. And then here. Enemies in midair take more damage and floating. Not worried about that. Could use that. Art casting resilience makes it harder to disrupt arts. That could be good. We already got that. Ailment rate. Uh... Strike. Hmm. We use it or hold it? Kind of feel like holding it, except for maybe that one if we get that one later on. All right, anyways, we'll go back to him. We got a thousand, better crit damage, sonic thrust I'm not worried about, midair damage, doesn't say how much it increased. Alright, keep going. Summoning wind, I do like wind attacks, but doesn't look like we need those. Working on those. Increased weak point damage. That actually sounds pretty damn good. Increased defense when our HP gets low is probably good. Increased max AG is good. Perfect evading guarding restores AG. More damage while they're down. Faster charge on our flaming edge. Mmm, some of these are really good. First off, that one, which eats up all of our money. And uh, I guess we wait. I do want weak point damage because that'll down them faster, which gives us more basic stun time, which will be pretty good. But, so we don't have to go through all that again. Double save. Back up we go. Right, the accessory. God. All over the place. He's got that one. Oh, she's already got a warrior emblem. Do we want to use one of these other accessories? We don't need it. I mean, it's not like there's anything paralyzing us yet. And I'd rather have the damage on these guys, so... All right. Last but not least, we can go up that way, dive down that way. We are almost level 12 with Xion. I don't see anything else we need, so let's go past these guys. We might try to dodge them. Haha, <laughs> later losers. Ah, it's right there, fine. Oh, damn! Just blast everyone as best as we can here. This one's mine. Do it. This ends now. See how much damage we can just blow out. Something you wanted to say? These little ones are hard to work out. Yes, I need you. Remember? All right, I wanted to change. I think I want to change that Earth Smash to the one we just got, too. Oh, man. Keep bouncing around. Um, right. Destruction with Sword Rain Alpha. Why is it like that? Because it costs two. 
Blunt a series of quick thrusts followed by an upward strike. Doesn't actually knock him up. Is it worth the two though? Yeah, because it's faster. There's that wind up time with the destruction. Houses in a place like this. People really live all the way out here? The whole area is just little villages. This one's Messia 224. Wait, I hear something. It sounds like people arguing. Bureau agents. The Snake Eyes must be here. We should sneak past them. That was my original plan, since you all stick out so much. I wonder if Why? I should do streams one earlier. Of your people tattles on us? It's the Renans who are making us do it. Oh yeah? Like this Renan who you need to save your people's skin? Well, that's rich coming from the bright eyes whose people are the reason we're in this mess in the that's first enough. place. But she started it! Three centuries of resentment is too much to lay at a single person's feet. Same goes for you, Xion. You can't ignore the past when speaking of the present. <laughs> now, what's going on in that village? If I were to guess, someone tipped off the Snake Eyes and they're here to make an arrest. You'd better not be about to suggest we get involved. I'm here for the Lord's head and nothing more. I go for you too, Alfin? Why did you come? Why? To liberate this realm's slaves, of course. Are you still a slave? Me? No. Then tell me what it means to live unshackled. I'll tell you what it means. It means living on your own terms. Being your own master. Thinking and making decisions for yourself. And being prepared to accept the consequences. Understand? Zephyr's got some lit eyebrows. Compared to everybody yeah, else. I think so. Good. So prove it to me. Shion. Don't start with me. I'm not going and that's that. I understand. Just wait here with Rinwell till we get back, okay? You're going in without the sword? Looks to be that way. This is my choice, after all. Your choice? Ugh, listen to yourself. That sword's useless to me without someone to use it. You go dying on me out there and you'll put our whole mission in jeopardy. But I need us all to make it safely to Sislodan. Too many sacrifices have already been made. We came here to put a stop to any more. You've... you've sacrificed something too, huh? Hide somewhere until it's over. You hear me? I think my Damn mic's picking Renans. up the TV sound. I hate seeing Danon suffering under them here too. I'm surprised you're so angry about it. You're not even from here. It doesn't matter where I'm from. Enough is enough with these people. Silence embedded. Anyone who fails to cooperate will be arrested and tried as a traitor to the realm. <sighs> These ones have guns. Damn it. Some rat must have sold us out again. You there! You want me to haul you up on suspicion of civil disobedience? But, but I didn't. Ah! What? Leave him alone! An embedded dares to find I'm getting North Korea vibes. Know your place, slave. Which is probably what they're aiming for, the but just stating it out loud. The villagers. They could get hurt, but there are too many agents. Zephyr? Law? Is that you? Who? <laughs> What's going on? Aren't we supposed to be fighting them? You're alive. Oh no. What are you doing here? The realm of Cislodia doesn't tolerate civil dissidents like you. Law. 
I hereby detain you in the name of his lordship. Good luck, kid. Zephyr? What the hell? Zephyr! Here they come! Okay. One. No. Really? I'll take you all on. I'm going in. Engaging! Release! It's over! Fire in the hole! You're on! Dazzle! You're on! Right, that costs two. I gotta remember that one is a little bit more expensive. Zephyr, are you trying to get caught? I'm sure that can be arranged. Not if I can help it. Yeah, he's just sitting around taking the hits. God damn, this force time. Maybe I didn't. No, this guy's got an upgraded sword. What? going on, Zephyr? Why won't you fight him? Is that soldier someone you know? Don't hurt him. Huh? What are you... Please. It won't work, you know. I feel like his facial animations look better. Gotta watch the jaw there, bud. Don't hit the hand, nerve. He just... He's my son. Yeah, I fucking called it. So I called it. The nerve of you. Damn it. I'm gonna wipe that damn look off your face once and for all. At least he didn't die. Oh, this is our kid show off that they've got superpowers. Rinwell, you. Whoa. Watch yourself. The insurgents are armed. Bail. Enemy reinforcements. Use the sword. I can't. The villagers will get caught in the blast. We need to fall back. Oh, for crying out loud. <laughs> Suffer! Go. Leave without me. You can't... I'm not leaving without him. Alfie, What's that? Five, no six? Time. We can take but him. what about the resistance? Everyone's counting on you! Forgive me. What's the plan here? Punch your way out? I like it. We've waited all night, but nobody's shown up. No sign of Zephyr or an enemy pursuit. So, what's the plan now? You really need to ask? We go rescue Zephyr. If he's under arrest, they'll have taken him to Sisloden, the capital city. Assuming he's still alive, that is. I can't believe Zephyr never told us he had a son. I wonder if the rest of the Crimson Crows knew about it. And to find you him knew in the that guy for what, all, all of four, five Some days? Coincidence, huh? Those fireworks you pulled out of your hat back there. 
They were astral arts, weren't they? Shion, what the hell are you Except doing? Except I've never heard of a Danon who can cast astral arts. Are you a Renan? Uh huh. Like hell I am. No, of she course half not. Renan's eyes light up when they use astral arts. And when you used an art, your eyes definitely didn't. So I guess that means you can't be a so-called bright eyes after all. Sorry. You're right. Those were astral arts I used. Same as the ones wielded by the Renans. Took the stone around her neck like a battery? A long time ago, my family, my people, were once known as mages. A Danon mage? Up until now, I'd only ever heard of them in stories and rumors. Though now I've seen one with my own eyes, I suppose I'll have to believe it. We've been in hiding for a oh, no. long, long time. Even before the Renans first attacked. That's why no one knew about us. Even before the Renans? Yeah. My ancestors were persecuted and targeted for their gifts. But it was by their fellow Danans. They lived hidden away all these centuries, hmm. keeping their existence secret even from the Resistance. My mom and dad drilled it into me that I was never, under any circumstances, supposed to let anyone find out about us. If that's the case, then why did you use your powers back there? I don't know. One second I saw Zephyr about to be killed, and the next I was... Danon Astral Arts. If the Renans knew such a threat existed, there'd be hell to pay. Hey! What? You think I'm gonna go to the Lords with this information? I'm a traitor and an outcast at this point. Or did you forget? What amazes me is how anyone could have that kind of power and yet keep it hidden all this time. Didn't you ever want to use it to help your people? Don't talk like you know the first thing about me, Renan! That's enough. Zephyr wouldn't want this. Listen, all I care about is taking out the Lords, okay? Which is no doubt what her people want too. Using her powers to help do it only makes sense. I think they goofed. They need to make it her just a little bit shorter. Us. Besides, Zephyr comes first. We can't just abandon him. It's fine. Huh? You're going to save Zephyr, Depending right? Female height, so. If so, you're going to need my powers to do it. Maybe I'm silly for thinking that she die. should be much smaller than uh, what's her name? Are you the sure? The red one. I can't believe I haven't memorized their names by now. Xion. Then let's get back to the village. Because look, they're we like basically the same happened. height. I know they're kind of apart right now. When she walked up, I just kind of noticed it. She's like barely an inch shorter. And yet I've got the feeling like Xion's supposed to be what? Hmm? Standard anime protagonist age, What's 17, wrong? 18, up to Nothing, maybe 20, just... 21. I'm surprised how dark out it is. And Why I felt like little be? girl was still night more like all. 15, 16. No. That's what's weird. Well, I guess a lot of time has passed since we arrived in Cislodia. You'd figure the know. sun would have come up by now. Oh, right. It's not like this back in Calaglia, is it? To be honest, I completely forgot. Nighttime all the time? Uh, basically, it's always night in this realm. Oh, I love it. Huh? Horrible for your Cicadian rhythm. It's been that way forever. Beautiful it throughout the snow. It never gets any brighter outside, even in the morning. So it's always dark all day long? But how? How is that even possible? Did the Renans cause this? Of course they did. It's complicated to explain, though. It'd be easier to just get to Sisloden so you can see what's going on for yourself. I'll take your word like for a butterfly it. book. But right now, finding Zephyr comes first. I also like the kind of thorny motif on the clothes that Xion found. 
put the wrong emphasis there, on the clothes that Xion found. Vegetable juice. Rinwell's perk. While casting an art, press and hold the art button to display or to delay activation until you let go. You can also press R1 in this state to save it for later and charge it. Charge arts activate after your next attack slash art and can be used in combos. If you cast the same art as the one currently charged, they'll combine into a higher tier spell. Uh, these can include arts that Rinwell has yet to learn or only trigger with specific combinations, so experiment and see what different pairs yield. Poodle. Poodle will alert you when there's an owl on your map. One tip for finding owls is that the closer you are to one, the more Hoodle reacts. Okay. I wonder how Zephyr's doing. If that law guy is his son, they shouldn't be rough with so him. So is that him telling that. us that there that is an like owl exactly here somewhere? So I thought we did a pretty good job hunting around, but I guess we never I'm found curious. it. curious. Can Danans enlist in the Snake Eyes too? Definitely. They're useful for surveillance here. Doesn't win you many friends on either side, though. So why is Zephyr's kid working for the Renans, then? If we can make... I'm kind of going to go around and see if we can make Hoodle pop up. I'm going to go down here first. All of creation across the heavens stems from the six essences. We lack only darkness while they are without light. Thus... To achieve perfection. What are you muttering over there? I was practicing a magic incantation. An incantation? Is it anything like the spells that people use today? Not quite. It takes time for me to finish my chants, so I'm practicing saying them quickly and accurately. You know, just in case. I've always tried my best never to use magic if I can avoid it up until now. You said you and your family used to live in hiding, right? Because you were a mage. Where did all the other mages go? Executed. <laughs> Sorry, I... Don't ask a child a question when you know topic. the answer something along those lines. It's okay. Probably her real parents. Or friends. Hey, like, so... Come on. Uh, about my magic. You want to keep it a secret, right? Yeah, sorry. Not a problem. Well, a little late for that after what happened in the village, don't you think? Though there were witnesses, we're gonna have Easy to take him out. It's just... Hmm? I didn't want Zephyr to die. That's why I used it. I know. And we might have lost him without your help. So thank you, Rinwell. The good sure. kid. Hoo-hoo! <laughs> hoo you tell him, Hoodle. Oh, another one. Is that owl okay? It's been stiff as a board for a while now. Cold. You're right. I wonder what's up with it. Come here. It's okay. I won't hurt you. <laughs> Crap. Huh? What happened? I hate to say this, Renwell, but I lost Hoodle. I didn't mean to scare him, but he took off. Hoodle? He's right next to you. He is? All I see is snow. Dan and owls conceal themselves when they feel threatened. I guess he's still not quite used to being around other people yet. That would explain it. I should have been more careful with him. Sorry. It's fine. I'm the only human he's comfortable with. Come here, Hoodle. Hoot hoot. Huh. Damn, he was that close? He's just a little wary of you. I think he gets that you're going to be with us for a while, though. Step in the right direction. If you call his name, he might eventually respond at least. Got it. Thanks. At least he's not sick or something. Indeed. That's quite a relief. Hmm. Delicious. That's what the glutton's thinking. You know it. She wants to eat the owl. Alright, let's go up this way. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe I should try different times. 
My problem is I work out on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. So I get off of work each day of the week around 6-ish, sometimes 6.37. Over here. Huh. Come on, Hoodle. Is there anybody around here? Nay. Hoot. But arguably, I could get on Monday and Friday around 6.37. Then if I played for seven hours, that would take us to midnight. More people on? There's a way to check that, right? Like... By, uh... I want to say Twitch has a method by which you can see how many users are on at any given time. I don't know if that would help. Then there's the question of do I really care so much about how many people come to watch me? Magic Thief. Enemies who can cast Astral Arts can be pretty difficult. Not only are they powerful, but their range lets them strike us before we even get close. Actually, I can just disrupt Astral Arts. What do you mean? When someone is casting an art, their focus has to be entirely on the incantation. So right when they're completing the casting, I just kind of steal it from them. Really? Then what do you do with the energy you've stolen? I hold on to it and use it whenever I want, like I can with my own magic. Nice. The thing is, I can only unleash that art once. After I use it, it's gone. Oh, also, when I steal astral energy, the enemy will lose focus, which means they can't cast anything else for a while. So not only can you steal their energy, but doing so incapacitates them too? That's amazing, Rinwell. I didn't realize your magic could do so much. It's actually something of a secret technique within my clan, so I kind of had to learn it. Well, if we come across any tough enemies that use incantations, I'm sure that power of yours will come in real handy. Yeah, it's tricky to pull off, but you can count on me. I had to take my glasses off, and you might notice, like, my eyes are actually blinking now. I feel like that's more worth than the added legibility I might have. Honestly, it's not so bad. I got a nice big TV. I can Ooh, read. You sense one of your pals, Hoodle? Yeah, but where? I have yet to see it. And I'm supposed to believe he's going to pop up and tell us when we're getting close to one. I haven't heard the thing either. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you're big and scary. Okay. There. We're gonna dodge them all since we're kind of fighting extras at this point. Later, nerves. I still love that it detects edges to look over. That's so good. Is this owl gonna be? Can I? Oh, that's kind of neat. The zone changed the uh, background image on the menu. Since it's, I guess, gonna focus on them. Um, I want to do the skill panel for her since she's newly in here. Oh, of course, she doesn't have titles yet. Thunderblade. Strength and magic charge. For right now, I want this one. It helps. Now, where the hell is this owl going to be? Checked most everywhere. Again, I've yet to hear the boy. Won't 
be back in the cave. We might have to wait until we find one or kind of confident in how he shows up. Unless... Poodle is going around telling us there's one here, but really it's in the village. I think that's it? I don't see him over here anywhere. It's not like we can get really deep in there. I don't see one just kind of like hanging out over here anywhere. They said to look in boxes. No boxes or anything. Really quick, let's double check there's nothing an owl would be in in here. There. Not up in the rafters anywhere. Alright. I'm just gonna go out. He should pop out and circle around us, letting us know, hey, there's one here. You sense one of your pals, Hoodle? Goes around us once. Went all over this way. We didn't see anything, so I'm gonna keep running. This way, dodge them, this way. Not anywhere by the bridge. Oh. Go no further! <laughs> I see your buddy has abandoned you, huh? Okay. So he pops up when we're close to one. We can go into the village now. Yeah, he's definitely somewhere in here. What's wrong with its eye? Oh, it's probably going to give me an eye patch, right? Yep. All right. Oh, that reminds me. Should we do... Oh, that's something I can do later. I was going to say we could backtrack and find more accessories, but right now we're fine. Uh, we've got to do accessories on her unless we want to turn her into the bunny girl. What else do we have? We got glasses, monocles, eye patch. Is she going to be a cat girl? We do have the cat tail. Oh, and I can double apply things. No, we won't make her a bunny girl. Okay, we'll do cat, cat girl. Just the cat ears. Rabbit ears, dog tail, cat tail. Hold up. Body cat ears. There we go. And black ears, spotted ears, or white ears. I feel like white's the way to go. Because it gives contrast. All right, then we need the cat tail. That'll be cute. Secrets of the Stars weapon skin. Sure. All right. And then equipment for her, we can probably give her an accessory, and that'll be that. Fire and water damage, minus 50, so that'll be ranged attacks, right? Give it to her. But yeah, again, if I change my times, I can do Saturday and Sunday any day. I really just take Sunday off, because that's easier to aim when things will be, and then I do late night Saturday, because I can be back home by then. It's eerily quiet. Unless something's going on. You think they took him away already? Hmm. What say we quit hiding and go ask some villagers? Someone's bound to report us no matter what we do, so we might as well. Hey, Shion! What? You heard her. She's got a point. Our cover was blown last night. Where's the sense in sneaking around? 
And what if there are soldiers lurking about? They would have followed us to the cabin already. Relax, the coast is clear. Let's hurry and speak to the villagers. Is she always like that? I don't know how you managed to put up with her. What makes you think I'm managing? <laughs> Let's right. try talking to the villagers. Oh, and there's a there's an owl here. Thank you, Hoodle. So I'm looking at the calendar. Maybe not next Friday, but the Friday after we'll change our stream time and try doing like a six o'clock or seven o'clock on Friday and Monday until midnight or 1 a.m. That also gets me to bed better, which makes sure that if I do have any type of uh, meetings Messia in the morning. Two, two, talking That's a pet him. Messia is basically a code. It indicates it's a small village. Oh, we can't pet him. So it's not its actual name? But look at him. Then does that mean that 224 is... Yeah. It's a good boy. It's merely a serial number assigned to the it for administrative boy. purposes. So the Renans even get to decide what places are called out in this realm. I forget which Tales game it was. I want to say it was Estria. But there were dogs scattered throughout the land. Actually, no, it might have been... Is it Symphonia? I've got another Tales game I was playing before I ever started doing the streaming stuff. But you could basically go and, uh... There was an achievement to pet every dog in the world. I hear now. It sounds kind of gross. Oh, never mind. You see anybody around here who could use our help? We can't chase after every little thing. Uh, we will, and we are, because I like accessories, and I like bonus stuff. I like experience. Sounds like he's over here. Talk to this guy while it hoots at me. Don't approach me. I don't want to come under suspicion. What part of go away don't you understand? People are going to get the wrong idea about me. You guys look weird. Got to be down below somewhere. <sighs> like, that's a very different hoot hoot. <laughs> there are two here? Oh, here's a guy. Yeah. Hey, buddy, uh, it's not too much to ask. You think you could spare uh, some Killigan? Mm -hmm. Killigan? Rinwell, do you know what this guy's talking about? Yeah. I think he's talking about alcohol. Ah. Of course, alcohol. What else did you think I meant? Hold on. You folks aren't from around here, are you? <laughs> if I were you, I'd get the hell out of here before someone reports you. Mm -hmm. This guy sure changed his tune fast. Can't really blame them. People here grow up doubting even their own neighbors, much less strangers like us. Hey. Let me ask you something. Why do you need this Caligan stuff so much anyways? What? Whether the bright eyes are running the show or not, I've still got to put food on the table somehow. Uh, Without some Caligan, I'll freeze to death. Working out here in this cold. I guess. So it's not just the buzz you're after, you want to stave off the cold. Unfortunately, we don't have any Caligan on us. Is there something else we could maybe yeah. do to help? Yeah. Why won't... We won't ask for anything in return. We just want to help. Yeah. You mean that? In that case, could you grab me some ingredients to brew it? You can find what I need from Zongles. I didn't even realize you could use Zongle parts to make booze. People sure are creative. We'll All go right. hunt for it. You don't have what you need, but you think you can hang in there until we what? find it? Not like I've got much of a choice. But you sure you want to help? You'll be crossing paths with Zoogles, you know. Good. Gotta remember it's Zoogle. We can't not do anything when we know you're in need. I'd feel guilty just leaving you up a creek. I'll take fighting a couple Zoogles over trying to plow the dirt here. It's this sort of climate any day of the week. <sighs> what do we need? Didn't quite say. Yeah, sure. The other side quests we have aren't really priority Using quests. Zoogles to make drinks. Our that four earth guts. seed. No one would have come up with it. You think we already have one of those? Hold up. Uh, items. I'm betting those are from the cave. Materials. Hmm. 
No, it's got to be something coming up then. Oh, no. We almost had it. Damn. Need one more. But for the occupation, that's for sure. You don't think the snake eyes will hold it against them, do you? If anything, the warmth might help ah. loosen them up. We're here. Hoo -hoo. There he is. Look at him in the little basket. You little bastard. Wolf ears. Baby. If I can turn those yellow, we're using them. Don't get me Looks wrong. Like Sheep ears are good, but wolf ears. That's me. That's me, fam. Let's go. Oops, not the broken iron mask. Wolf ears. Yeah, buddy. Oh, but I can't can't color change them. All right, it's okay. They aren't really different. Do that. We spotted one of Hoodle's friends. Okay. I wonder if something happened. Back to this guy. Another side quest, another side quest. <sighs> hey. You look real nervous, kid. What's the matter? Hmm. Hey. You're not thinking of turning someone in, are you? Or are you worried you're going to get reported? <gasps> no, that's not it. Then what's wrong? Hmm. The Zoogles, they're... Hmm? They're what? In the way, and... Hmm. <sighs> He's gone quiet again. They're in the way, and... You're trying to go somewhere outside the village? Yeah. But people here aren't feel free to move around as they please. I'm not sure he's trying to do anything so dangerous. Unless he had a real good reason for it, that is. <sighs> he probably doesn't want to talk to us since we're complete strangers. I don't think he's a bad kid, though. I guess. In that case, you have to do something. All right, we'll take care of your Zoogle problem. Uh huh? We are? Sure we are. We're going to clear out the Zoogle surrounding this village. Whatever he's struggling to do, it can't exactly hurt to get rid of him for him, right? <sighs> I guess. Oh, it's okay. This is something we want to do. You don't have to tell us anything you don't want. Fire beneath the ice. Sure. I and mean, we know we can go back and get the seeds from the cave, so we don't really need that one. Seven Ice Wolf shouldn't be too much of a problem. <laughs> Always gotta listen closely to anything people say. Otherwise, I could miss out on a juicy reward. I, I don't know who you are, and I don't care. Stay away, push your luck, and I'll report There's you. There's someone in trouble here. Well, let's see what they have to say. What do you got? Go do some side uh -huh. quests real quick. You folks look mighty suspect to me. I can tell just by looking at you that you're not from around here. Normally, I'd report you to the bureau and that'd be that. Hmm, what to do? Hey. Look, we don't want to cause any trouble. Is there any way we can convince you to keep quiet about this? Well, the bureau likes to reward people who report folk. What are you willing to offer me? Uh. Excuse me? Sure. We don't have anything to give... Or we don't have to give you anything, but there are plenty of other ways to keep you quiet. Easy, Shion. <sighs> easy? You're the one who's easy. All right. All right, what do you want? Yeah! Well, now, let me see. I know. I could use some food. How about you bring me some fruits and vegetables? <laughs> and I don't mean the wilted stuff that grows here. I'm talking fresh, wild stuff that grows outside. How's this? Have some lettuce and apples, baby. Yeah! Oh, you've got food for me, huh? Well, come on, hurry up and hand it over. Will you promise to keep quiet about us now? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. I won't tell anyone, I swear. You can, uh, count on hmm. me. Something smells fishy about all this. Why were you so insistent on these things coming from outside the village if you can grow them here? What? I told you, the wild stuff's a lot fresher. The soil here's practically worthless. The problem is we're forbidden from just leaving the village whenever we like. Even worse, there are those zoogles crawling around outside. <sighs> so you made us stick our necks out for you instead. Gee, aren't you such a swell guy. Enjoy all your food, I guess. Uh? She's just angry because he's getting her, her foods, her supply. What? 
Who said anything about eating the stuff? Don't be stupid. That's not what I'm going to do with all this. If you're not going to eat it, what do you need it for? <laughs> I plan on selling it all, obviously. Do you know how much demand there is for fresh food like this around here? Just great. Great. Now I feel really dirty for helping this guy. <sighs> this realm's definitely got a lot of problems to work through, though. Who's still? Who the little? They reacted just like we expected. Yeah. Do you? My fingers are falling off here. Are you done with chop wood chopping on your end? Yeah. Now to feed the livestock. I wish I could do stuff like weaving. Indoor work puts you under more suspicion. I'd take the cold over that any day. I think we'd end up like that if we had to treat everyone with suspicion. It's like the bitter cold has frozen the hearts of those who live here. Horsey. Okay, I was gonna say, this horse doesn't look like it's moving. <laughs> and I don't like its teeth. It's just keeping its mouth open like that. That's weird. I don't like it. Look, he's counting. Just through these woods up ahead, you'll find Cisladin, the capital. The only question is whether you wind up arrested or Zoogle food. Stay calm. We don't know where they took Zephyr yet. All right. Before that, let's see. Am I allowed to leave the village before I know where they took Zephyr? Because we can go just handle these quests super fast. Be done with the village. Yep. Okay. So we got to fight wolves. We've got to get a seed. We can probably do it really quick if we go straight through the path. That we'll also like see the if there's an owl we in the about. tunnel. An opponent like right. this should be easy. Right. Not today! Go punch! Get in the way! Lightning thrust! Mirage! Sword Rain Alpha! Yuma! Raging Cascade! Here's a healing arc! I see I've become very popular. Sword Rain Alpha! Be still! Oh, the downside to that one is it's hard to come out of it and then hit him in midair. It's pretty easy to get out of things yourself using Here's it. Here's the Zoogle we were asked to handle. Hey, Rinwell. Ace? Do you always ace. have to say an incantation before you cast an art? Yeah. They don't really add any extra power or anything, but reciting them is what allows the astral energy to come together and flow through me. It takes time to complete, but they're what lets me use such strong magic in the first place. What happens if someone interrupts you while you're in the middle of chanting? Then I have to start over from the beginning. Ouch. As soon as my concentration breaks, any astral energy I've accumulated disperses. Got it. So once you start reciting, that's our cue to make sure that no enemies can get near enough to disrupt you. Yeah, that would be appreciated. Although, I do have one fun trick up my sleeve. Once Bum. I finish chanting a full incantation, I can hold on to a single astral art without casting it right away. So once the astral energy's in place, you can choose to set it off whenever you want? That's amazing. Yeah, I don't fully have the hang of it just yet, but I'm sure it'll come in handy sooner or later. Oodle. All right, let's go, boys. Let's dispose of the trash. Be careful, I can't leave with that until he's broken. I dodge that guy. Dodge that guy. Let's see what it is. Okay, she just kind of blasts him a couple times. Oops. It's going to be super handy having three of those. All right, let's go this way, just collect the sparklies. What in the hell is that white spot? Mining node? Mining node. Right, I don't know if I finished my thought. I was a little busy. Um, but come not next Friday, the Friday after. 
What might end up happening is I'll try doing streams at 6 or 7. I think I mentioned that. We'll end at 12 or 1, depending on which of those it is. Um, but then Saturday, we'll still leave it just kind of as it is. Oh, we picked up one of the hawks. And then we'll do that for maybe a month? Is that good? It's probably good. I mean, in all honesty, it's not so much the timing that I'm doing it. More than likely, it's just a matter of... Watch that guy. Um, my stream itself probably doesn't look super cool. And, like, who am I? I'm a nobody. But... Like I also mentioned before, I'm not really too concerned about having too many people watching it. I'm just kind of doing it to learn the stuff. That said, if I'm going to do this longer than a year, I don't know, what's a reasonable goal right to for? After a year... I really don't know enough about it because I don't watch YouTubers really all that much anyways. Um... Especially like guy VTubers. Should I maybe just... I don't know, maybe if I've got 50 people somewhat regularly watching the stream, then we can do that. Or we'll keep doing it, I should say. At least for a while. I didn't see, did Hoodle show up? Is there one of the owls in here? Need to keep an eye out for that. Go out and come back in. But yeah. I don't know. 50 at the end of the year seems like a somewhat reasonable goal, maybe? I don't know. I have no clue. Again, I don't really care that much about it. But having people to talk to is somewhat more interesting than not. Let's see, where's some alien plants? There they are. Hey, boys! Go no further! Later. <laughs> I like being able to just launch up like that. Watch out, right, so we don't take a bunch of poison damage. Oh, they nuked the other one for me. Nice. Well then, let's keep moving. Strange core, not what I need. Howdy, boys. Gotta break through. Take this. Core blade. Sword rain alpha. Take this. You're finished. You're mine. Slash. Sword rain alpha. In here. This way. Got him. We've got the ingredients. Let's get them back to the I'm ready for the next battle. Way. All right, we gotta go this way to grab that guy. We might as well. It's material. All right. Oh, we got a item scholar from Windwell. Okay. What we got in here? Sharpness. Increases ally attack and elemental power. Recover when sent flying. Recover that way. Maybe. Faster magic charge. Also good. Increased boost gauge from enemy downs. I feel like the faster magic charge and strength in magic charge might be the way to go. I'm also not against giving AIs like mad um, 
elemental ability, like a shitload of extra abilities, I should say, so that they can cover the game. Because unlike me, who has to press a hotkey, they just kind of automatically detect and use what they're supposed to once they know enemy weaknesses. If I remember the system here right. So as long as they have it, they can use it really effectively. Alright, we'll go this way because then we can just kind of cut across. This will be... This will either be six or seven. I do like that they're all focusing on me to some extent. Okay. Yeah. Need to pivot, not keep attacking in that direction. I tried to hit it before I hit the ground so I'd warp over to him because I think he does that. Alright, so we'll fight one or two more sets just to be sure. What level is she coming in? Right, she's 12-2. That's solid. Beat seven times Ice Wolf. So yeah, we haven't, haven't quite gotten it yet. Let's get this big old crystal. Big old crystal. There's gonna be more Ice Wolves this way. There's the Zoogle we were asked to handle. An opponent like this should be easy. Be careful there, I'm eating damage when I'm using that one because I'm not using it during breaks. These guys. When they're pinned like that that's against the wall, to that's the best time to get them. Traveling. Oh, right. Before I hop that. Two, three. Apples. Away we go. Alright. That should take care of all of our side quests, and then we can go immediately to the next quest and move on to the next village. We're at three hours. Do I need a break? Uh, yes, but we're not going to do a long break. I'm going to be like five minutes. I'm just going to use the restroom real quick and refill my water. I suggest everybody do the same. Be right back. Don't panic.
All right, I'm back. So let's get these guys out of the way. Really quick. Hey, we're back. We took out as many zoogles nearby as we could find. That should hopefully make it a little safer to walk around here. Huh? Till next time. I don't know what you're trying to do, kid, but I hope everything works out for you. See ya. Wait. Hmm. I don't get it. Why would you guys do something like that when there's nothing in it for you? Because I would have felt guilty if I did nothing. Only for one of those zoogles to get you later. That's why. Huh? That's the only reason you fought those zoogles? Even though there's snake eyes all over the place? I think making sure nobody dies is good enough reason to do just about anything, don't you? Oh, on your way here, did you happen to come across a guy who runs a general store inside a cabin? I guess. Actually, now that you mention it, yeah. Why? Did you need something from him? There's someone I want to marry. <laughs> oh! I get it. You wanted to visit the shop to have him make one of those things, huh? You know what he's talking about, Wormo? Of course, people in Cislodia used to give these special owl charms to their loved ones as a sign of how they feel. It's a really, really old tradition. I don't think anybody else still even knew about it these days. <laughs> That's right. I know it sounds weird, but with Cislodia the way it is, I thought it was really important for me to make the effort. <laughs> it's not weird. I think it's really beautiful. Wait, back up a minute. If you just need to go to the general store, doesn't this village have one too? The guy who runs the one in the cabin is a friend I grew up with. This charm is really important to me, so I want him to be the one who makes it. Of course! Now I understand. Sounds like all that zoogle hunting we did paid off then. Otherwise, I would have never had this opportunity to learn about such a special tradition here. <laughs> Thank you guys for everything you've done. I'll never forget it. Wink. Which, that'll put us in the new streaming schedule. I guess we'll do that throughout October. I wonder... Don't catch the mic. But I wonder, like... Will I have enough experience at that point to make some sort of costume for ha Halloween in October? I mean, it's like a week off. Do I think I could learn it in a week? Maybe some small we accessories. Don't know where they took yet. Oh, what I could do is change some color swaps. So I'm already pale enough as it is, but uh, at the very least, I could give myself spooky hair and eyes. We can try that. We'll, we'll make it a surprise for anybody who didn't <laughs> watch this one. And we'll show up starting in October, I guess. I'll try to do, like, uh, powder white hair or something and red eyes. I might be able to swing that. We're back! This is everything you need to brew the Calligan, right? Yeah! She's very excited for this man to brew alcohol. She's underage. No, di no dice. I don't know what the drinking age in Japan is, but no dice! Yeah, it sure is. You really don't mind if I have these? We told you, we just want to help, so go on, take it. We won't stop you. Okay. All right. By the way, although I've got to ask, how the hell do you brew alcohol with this stuff? Yeah. Technically, you just bite into it as is, but no one's stupid enough to waste a bunch of good ingredients doing that. What you got to do is pack it in the snow, let it sit by a fireplace for a week. Then, once you've distilled the melted snow, pow, Calligan. But you got to be careful. Calligan's so strong it'll start a fire if you don't handle it with care. Oh. Wow, that makes me want to try a little. Hey. Not until you're the right age, Rimwell. I know, you don't have to remind me. Like I said, though, there's no way I can work outdoors without this stuff. <laughs> so thanks. It's nice to see there's still some good folks in this world. Lohikito recipe. Lohikitoi? I don't know. But that's our side quest, so let's jump forward and we'll find somebody over here. Howdy, folks. You the mayor of the village? You're the friends of that man the bureau agents took away. All right. Please, leave us alone. drink my protein shake. <laughs> <laughs> Answer our questions and we'll leave you in peace. Where did the agents take our friend? C C 
Just Ludan. The capital. That's what they said. I knew it. What did we ever do to deserve this? We haven't even crossed the street without looking first. Why are they Shh. after us? Come on, we're wasting time. You'll need to hurry if you want to get your friend back. Not a single person who's been taken to Sisladin has ever returned. <clears throat> hey, keep quiet. You're trying to get us all killed? I don't <clears throat> know that. Go on, report me. See if I care. <clears throat> I thought this Sisladin was a city. Is it a prison camp? It's the realm's capital. Though when you're forbidden to move freely like we are, there isn't much difference. My parents and siblings were taken by the Snake Eyes. I haven't heard from any of them since. For all I know, they're long dead by now. Poor guy. Anyway, go! And kill as many Snake Eyes as you can for me while you're there! I like that they added freckles to him. That's a nice touch. All right. To Sisloden it is. I actually haven't been paying attention. Do they have, like, common models, or... Is everything generally a little bit changed? Like, that guy seems like he's got Zephyr hair to an extent without the scar. This guy definitely looks different from that guy who was asking us for clothing advice, even though he's got the same colored hair. Anyone would want someone out for a reward, or would sell someone out for a reward. That's the terror of living on the breadline. <gasps> Magic cow. Milk. Finally. Finally? What is it? I found an ingredient for that new recipe. Actually, can we jump off the bridge? Yes, we can. That's why that's like that. Beautiful. Oh. All right. People Chance to finish really the protein terrified. shake. Let's go. Guys. They've got them jumping at their own shadows. They may be Lord Ganabelt's lackeys, but for all intents and purposes, it's the Snake Eyes who control the realm. One wrong look, and your history. So Zephyr's being moved to Sisloden. Let's cross our fingers we catch up with him on the way. I mean, Ugh. the plan was always for me to take you guys to Sisloden anyway. But a word of advice. Oh? There's a forest we have to pass through on our way there. I won't lie to you. It'll be dangerous. More Zoogles? It'll be Wild full of experience, you mean. They hunt in packs led by the biggest, meanest one. My the target, you mean? My friends got cornered by one on our way to Calaglia. That's how we got split up. We'll just have to keep our wits about us, then. What's a little weird is that there's horses and chickens and uh, owls, but the owls do look like mini-monsters. And those are considered zoogles. Pretty dangerous. Let's make sure we're prepared before we go further. We really haven't found a shop to buy weapons Rinma, yet. If you get injured, just let Shion know, okay? Mm. I only have one pair of hands, you know. <sighs> Don't be cunts to each other. Shion needs to heal, so we're definitely resting. We'll get our CP back. What are we gonna cook? We got this new recipe. More dropped items, I like that. I think the S is like small chance. It's gonna take milk and salmon. Grilled mushrooms for elemental defense, steamed potatoes, HP heal after battle. Last long. Vegetable soup, rear ore rate up. I like that. Obtained ore up, so that's quantity over quality, I guess. We've got plenty of ingredients for that. You'll CP after battle is a good one. I just wish like we had a boost. We aren't getting any uh, boosts from Rimwell yet. Of course, five CP after each battle. Well, we're going to be fighting a lot of things. Let's do it. 
spend time with party members to deepen your bonds while resting at camp. You never know, something nice might happen if you do. Okay, so there's something with both of them. Can I select Rimwell? Yeah, I'm not allowed, so I've got to she on. Could we talk a moment? And here I was thinking I could get some rest. Is something the matter? The matter? No, no, nothing like that. Then if it's all the same to you, I'll be going to sleep, thanks. Is chatting with me really that much of a drag? I just don't get the point, that's all. Is there some pressing reason why we have to talk right now? Because we're not going through deadly forests <laughs> planes or no Zool-infested caves. An emergency? an emergency? What if one of us suddenly got sick? Then I'd cure them with my healing arts and we'd move on. That's easy for you to say. But for the person doing the asking, it may not be so easy to approach you. If they can't work up the courage to approach me, that's their problem. Unless you're suggesting I refuse to heal someone for the fun of it. I didn't say oh. that. So what then? Quit beating around the bush and just tell me. Look, what I'm trying to say is... If we're going to be traveling together, it makes more sense to do it as companpions, rather than being at each other's throats the whole time. Our boys I learn. don't get it. <sighs> but I do understand that whatever it is, it obviously must mean a lot to you. I'm not trying to make things more difficult for you just for the sake of it. So, I'll make more of an effort to talk every now and then, even when we don't have to. Happy? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I am. Then if you don't mind, I'm going to get some sleep. Have a good night. Good night. <laughs> don't let Didn't the bed bugs it, bite. I think it's time we go to sleep. <laughs> How long do you plan on just sitting around doing nothing, Alfin? Because it looks to me like you're taking your sweet time getting ready. I'm not procrastinating, if that's what you're implying. Oh? Sure looks like it to me. You had me worried you'd forgotten our mission. Again. I know, Again. I know. You don't need to keep reminding me. Hey, Alfin. I'm already over here. R right. Uh -oh. Thanks for letting me know. I saw you talking with that Bright Eyes before Lights Out last night. Mind telling me what you two discussed? Nothing in particular. I just figured that maybe she would open up a little if I tried talking to her. What? Her? She's a Renin. I know we're working with her, but that doesn't mean we have to play nice with her. Of course it does. Look, we're all going to be traveling Realize. together for a while. It's only going to make things harder if we're at each other's throats. <clears throat> if all we do is bark orders at each other instead of working together, that's not much different than how it is for the rest of us. I think it's important that we all understand each other and work together as equals, if it's at all possible. Do we, though? <sighs> because I sure don't get the feeling she means to do the same. <sighs> I want my cozy blanket. As soon as Zephyr disappears, a reason for my cozy blanket. all hell breaks loose. We can't get anything done if things stay tense like this. But what the hell am I supposed to do? Well, I guess I'll just have to keep hammering away at them. See how it goes. Just give me one second. Getting cozy. All right, let's grab our necklace here so that we can track hands. And now we're all snug as a bug in our cozy blanket. For those of you that don't know, sit up a little bit. Can't be that snug. My house gets colder generally when I go to sleep and I stream way past bedtime. But cozy blanket is nice and soft and fluffy and I play off my couch so I just get to prop my feet up on the bottom of my table with cozy blanket wrapped around. Is good. All those people playing in their gaming chairs. I used to have one of those and in my office set up but they're all playing there and they don't get the relaxing comfort of cozy blanket and couch. Oop. All right. 
so what did we get? We got this new thing for Alfin title, another day, another wall. Bonus elemental attack. Rising Falcon is a downward strike from the air. Why would it be called Rising Falcon? Falling Falcon. What? Increased boost strike damage, increased counterattack damage. We don't counterattack that much, so. Perfect evading or guarding restores AG. We've got one of those. No, we got faster. We can get another one of those. Okay, Forge 10. We can look up what we do to get new titles. Okay, sick. Boost attack downs. But Forging 10 weapons gets him those, that one. Cook 8 meals. Enemies down by boost attacks. Accessories forged. We can work on that. So we need to forge three more accessories and cook more meals. Come on, guys. We've got lots to do. Hey. Okay. So let's start by forging a weapon. We do. Yep, we've got new swords. So it is time to do some of these guys. But why? Oh, I need beast main. These are probably... Earth seed, you would, wouldn't you? Okay. I like the wind blade. Who do you think has beast main? Can I view? You... Mm. Can't look at what makes that. Okay, what about you guys? Czar Megacore 3. Don't have that. Demi Human Talon. Got a feeling some of these are going to be up in the forest. We'll have to double back. Water, Bouncing Living. So the only one I can make something for is him. It's like 20 bonus damage compared to 60. Does it really eat into my stuff if I do it, though? I'm going to take the Astral Crystal Grain. We don't know if we're going to need those. Right. Well, comparatively, whoops, buying and selling, can we, well, we're going to buy some of these guys. Always want like six or seven of everything that we can get ingredient-wise. Oh, these guys are expensive, fuck. Oh! <laughs> Both seven armors. Okay. We'll buy one of those. Purchase and equip. I, for some reason, I just wasn't looking at the symbol. I thought that Zoogle skin armor was some ingredient we needed. Let's sell some of those. Hold on to that stuff. Let's sell six armors. Okay. Now... Let's double back to the accessories. We need to create three accessories. So, distance up is probably good, and the pierce up is probably also good. You get bonus attack from the other thorn ore. Penetration. Ooh, this is interesting. Penetration and attack damage up. Probably good, but it's a level... Okay, that's a level two. Let's do that. And then on the grit emblem... Extra penetration with the resistance. Down damage up. Elemental attack. Max HP is probably the way to go with that. Resistance is tanky. Max HP is tanky. I think we're going to do that, and then let's do one more of these just to do it. Uh, da, 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 da. It nulls poison. We don't need poison resistance. Elemental defense, maybe. Freeze resistance, I guess, or defense. Uh, 
Let's do freeze resistance. All right. Let's bid that. Enhance them. Toss in just some of these basic boys. And on this pierce guy, let's do some parallax stones, level ones. As long as we have one extra. Then we need 10 to get there. I don't think we have to do that. Am I not allowed to just do level two enhancement? Oh, I'm out of money. Don't forget to look down. The flames in front of you won't reveal any traps that lie beneath your feet. There's the accessories. Chic. What's that do for us? Maximum AG is good, just for having it. Bonus defense, good. Oh no, completion bonus. So I actually have to get everything to get the completion bonus. Okay. Okay. Defense for completing that one. Resistance. Attack damage is probably somewhat worth it. 20 defense would be good. More meals cooked for that. Aerial enemies down by boost attacks. Wish I could tell how many of those we got. All right, uh, zoom in, spread. Your AG recovery is probably good. Increase boost gauge. So I think we actually want to do this circle, plus it gives us 20 defense, making her a bit more tanky. We need to do drop any free enemies from boosted downs. We'll do sell items. That cash in our money from there so that we can whoops upgrade the accessory on the pierce emblem. One, two, three, four, five. Yep. Right, and now the last thing I'll do is on our main boy. If we were to replace your pure cell emblem with the level three one, that'll boost our attack for the sword we didn't get. The warrior emblem, we could do the pierce emblem. And instead of 15% attack, we get the straight 20 attack which will be better for now. Got the Garnet for fire and water damage. Upgrade that when she gets freeze resistance and higher defense. That gives her a large amount more resistance, which I think is anti mad No, because that would be elemental defense. Is resistance just ailment defense? Like in general? Probably. I don't know. It's a good question. I don't know. So this is the forest team with Zugals you warned us about. No sign of Zephyr, though. Which means either they had the skills to make it through safely, or were too late and the strays got to them first. I mean, they Do probably go through all the time. Out loud? Just the true ones. Are we moving or what? Keep an eye on more of the details, Don't like worry, the way their Hero. back hair is. It's okay. For the modeling stuff. Like I just noticed, Shion's is basically I can barely see the scalp with a few lines through it. Into something. But there's enough accessories yeah. to kind of mask that up until the ponytail. Coming from off the path. Quick here. Okay, there's some split paths as we go that we'll check. We want to go up the stairs, maybe across the water, and double back down. Again, split paths before going up. This Looks like we nothing. can do this one. When things get real bad around here, you can get lost without even realizing it. Oh, I also didn't see if Hoodle 
said there was someone here, but we're exploring everything for first run through anyway, so. I think we got to use those to unlock another thing. Onward and upward. But I'm just gonna dump them when we got them. I can make it. I believe. Right. It's freezing. I can barely feel my toes. Yeah, we're gonna get hypothermia. The treasure. Back up quickly, then. Just dive right down in there. Yep. Ah, uh, low tier. We can use that for fodder. How more are you boys? That slightly works out because I need seeds for one of the swords. done range core okay you're dancing no dancing allowed let's dispose of the trash here i come you're finished you're raging in here get on in there with the others take it dance in the wind you're finished there is here relax you're mine! It's over! Let's get you all tucked away! You're mine! You're finished! It's showtime! I'm only getting started! blade! Be still! Here I come! You're finished! This ends now! Consider yourself finished! Did. They don't like fire. Not at Thank all. And there's no seed. That's good. I could easily see us getting lost here while we're trying to find Zephyr. I get this is supposed to connect the capital to the villages. Why is yeah, it that's the so I think I needed for and her weapon. That, why are there so many Zoogles walking around? I think they're used as looking. I'll take you all off. You're probably gonna say used as lookouts so that they got one natural defenses to any invaders. And two. Um, you know, you hear people fighting with them as they come up. Where are you going? Did you just heal me? Yes. I need you, remember? Right. Did not mean to use that one, but we'll take it. Our work is done here. Let's move. I'm right behind you, Shion. We're so high up. All right, so we need to go down here, fight these boys. <laughs> what up, nerds? Come and face me. Kinda wish I hadn't burned my stuff on you. Sword Rain Alpha! By the power of the 
before I can miss. I hate that that Gemini Blade or whatever pushes me back just a little bit. Okay. That's new. I feel stronger. I mean, a bit. Good. We're counting on you, Rinwell. On me? Well, I'll do my best. Ooh, thousand dollars. Like it. Go this way. Big boy over there. We're gonna go through this side first, cause treasure. Quickly, cause our food has a timer. Bleh. We should have done it by fight. Like, you eat some foods last for 10 fights, some foods last for 12. That'd probably be the best method. This one's gonna be rough. Most of them. This ends now. Consider yourself finished. See you continue on in that vein. Uh, yes, my lady. Something you wanted to say? I need to be careful on those big boys. Come on, dude. I don't know if you guys saw that, but basically, once she got her spell off to get her out of the damage, I used that to manipulate her position. The, uh, what do you call it? The boost attack or whatever, down attack. Onyx One Piece. One piece dress lined with onyx. The jewels are said to change colors. They absorb the astral energy surrounding them. That's probably for Rimwell. Right? Yeah. Oh no. Yeah, no. That's for her. Hold up. For a second, I thought it changed the uh, armor on her. Let me take a look at back it. Across. Um, we actually need to go back up then. I thought this connected across the side, but looks like we're getting an overlook. Hello. Someone who needs healing. Okay. I went to look for food only to end up getting hurt. Please don't leave me here. I'll give you this in return. Her seeds. Okay. Thanks, Shion. Just doing what I can. Milk. Milk. Yeah. Phew. What a rush. <laughs> Alright. We got a big boy. This will be a delicious piece of cake. Fuck is a swallow blade. Here I come. 
Okay, new plan. You, you little bastard. No, I didn't. Say no more. The astral energy was incredible. I gave it everything I had. Okay, we'll go up this way for you. Haha, <laughs> orange gel, I love it. Even though I'm gonna get full of that soon. Um going off this side, right? Yes. Hoot hoot, motherfucker? Maybe? Oh, you guys just gonna hop on out like that and think I'm not gonna fight you? So those are damn and astral arts. Huh. Something you want to say? Take Not it. so long as you keep Swallow them pointed toward the enemy. I can't tell if that strike ends up eating stuff or not. I need to be careful. I need to start Looks trying like to intentionally something. keep one of those. Just in case I get in a hairy situation, it can buy us some time to get the other one stored up. I'm surprised we're not finding a hootie person. Somebody <sighs> up here. Um. Hoot hoot. Hoot hoot. More lettuce. Some guy. <laughs> Why'd it have to be Zoogle like that? I can't go anywhere with these What's here. What's wrong? What are you doing in such a dangerous place? Me? What are you all doing here? You didn't follow me all the way here, did you? If you're planning to report me, think again. I'm not going to tell on you. We're simply trying to get to Sisladen to rescue a friend of ours that got arrested. Huh? <laughs> so you're a bunch of crazies. Great. Get out of here before you get me arrested. Yes. You mentioned something about a Zoogle. Is there a strong one up ahead? Yeah, a wolf Zoogle. It's huge and tough as nails. What's worse, it's light on his feet, too. You might be able to beat it if you can hit its weak point, but I don't have what it takes to even scratch it. Damn it. I thought if I followed those bureau agents, I'd make it through the forest, but I guess that whole plan's a wash now. Not necessarily. We'll look into that Zoogle and see what we For can do real? about it. Ha! You people are even crazier than I thought. If you really think you have what it takes, then go ahead, be my guest. Don't mind if we do. All right. We got one of them healer points. Forge any of our weapons yet? Gale wing I'm still short on because who knows where the hell to get a beast main. Got everything else. But we can do that guy with the earth seed. Can't do any of hers. Can't do any of yours. I guess the demi human talons are coming from the berserkers. 
Stone Fragment at this point I'm not worried about. Ignis Roar. Oh, a bizarre Mega Core. I probably was looking at the wrong thing. Okay, well, we're gonna do the Geared Fang and equip it because we need something to boost us a little bit. Lodi is a harsh land. Whether it's forest teeming with monsters or sea streets full of spies, truly there's no rest for the wary. I always love the sound of hammers banging away. Sure. Stores us probably for a boss fight, so we're gonna save as well. Actually, we'll do skills and then we'll save. So he's got 700. Was I almost through anything? I can get two there to finish him off, and that'll give me 10 defense. Not bad. More weapon types forge, boost attack downs, 35, that's going to be a little while. Um, give me elemental attack, I don't need. Defense is fine, elemental defense. Uh, your higher attack, which I probably would like. Let's go for these. They're also somewhat low cost. Try and get our equips. We still have other people, right? She's not, she does. She really only have one. What do you get yours at? Hmm. You need elemental attack up. So let's look here. Boink. Ah, that's the one I want though. Last thing, save. Duh. All right. Get a boss down before hour four. Let's go. Is a big bad wolf. Oh no, <laughs> cat girl, run. He's too busy We've being adorable. And not the nice kind either. Get back. And miss all the action? What do you take me for? Alright, let's see what we can do here. We point on his right shoulder. My left. Out of our way. It's a big target yeah, work. You just Don't keep focusing speed. on me here. Alright, go for this guy. One down. Oh, I was trying to dodge that. Make sure you stick in that. One. God damn. Okay. You start looking at me, bud. Ooh. Solid on your part. Not gonna lie. I hit the wrong button. Oh, 
Sure, we're targeting that apparently. Now, do it. This ends now. Consider yourself finished. You change your tactics, buddy, on the ground. to change anything i just have to not get hit by away. the very last attack target, and i gotta if i wipe out these guys it's Don't that much easier Okay, you're just going to be using that from the get-go now, huh? Going a complete different fight route. Oh, 
on the ground we're gonna go for these this is where he charges or... Hehehehehehe <laughs> Dodge it I think she's got it Oh Just hit him There you go Everybody get him Bad ending, though. You okay, Rinwell? I I'm fine. There's our beast mains. 
Jesus. Alright, number one. Uh hold up. <laughs> There's not really a fire before there. Recover all that we can. We should think about eating soon. Really? I'm not all that hungry myself. Don't that guy's make gone. me say it again. <laughs> yeah, good idea. Don't make me say it again. Yes, ma'am. Our fun little Sunday. All right. More crystal. Or. No owls, huh? What do you notice now? That guy's no too way. edgy. One person did all of this? Edgy AF. Look at him. He's got multiple belts. His raven feather cow. <laughs> and a cape with a samurai sword. I don't like him. Edgy as fuck. At least he didn't do swirling darkness portal. He, he did light ether portal. Who was that guy? Edge Lord do you think he could have been the lord we're looking for? Gannabelt? I doubt nah. a lord would deign to roam around a place like this alone. Besides, what business would a Renan have with killing Zoogles? Now that I look at it, it was a good call staying out of his way, I think. Look at this. He took them out with a single slice. This guy's no amateur. <laughs> you okay? Uh, oh, um, yeah. We should get going. Zephyr needs us. That knight back there sure wasn't messing around. If he's not a lord, what is he? I have no idea. I've never seen anybody like him. Well, he definitely doesn't seem to be a friend, that's for sure. Hopefully we don't run into him again. Not necessarily a foe either, but I mean, he's so edgy, you know he's gonna be. Downside about quick loading screens is he can't read all of the uh, extra info. Land of Glistening Radiance, Cislodia. I guess they're sending all the light of the land there up to is. the tower. Cisloden. What's with those beams of light? They don't strike me as your everyday street lights. They're kind of the key to this whole realm. You'll see what I mean when we get there. <sighs> What's on your mind? First, Rinwell appears out of nowhere, right after we beat Balsef. Then, we bump into Zephyr's son, who's with the enemy. Somehow, we get away scot-free because the Snake Eyes don't even bother chasing after us. Is it really a coincidence? It is sketchy as fuck. You think it was a trap? W what But I would never... If not for the whole Astral Arts episode, I'd be worried. But no, she's not behind this. What if she's being Perhaps used Perhaps an for? unwitting pawn in someone else's plan. <sighs> what? All this to capture Zephyr? Capture you? Maybe. All I know is it all slots together a little too nicely for my liking. Not that dwelling on it'll get us anywhere. Trap or otherwise, we've got a lord to defeat. So how do we get inside? What? 
Well, we can't just march into the Viper's nest through the front door, surely. There's a secret passage near a spring on the outskirts of the city. We can get in through there. Okay. I hate camping out. Well, Hoodle says there is a person here. I want to double check. Was Hoodle... Hoodle say there was a person over here? Nope. Good. So I was like, I can't think of anywhere, anywhere else Hoodle would have, uh, or a I hoot would have been. Out. I don't give a hoot. We don't really need to talk to you. We do need to camp. Get our CP back. I'm surprised we haven't found a, um, huh? like a wild shadow Why beast. Why are you looking at me like that? Are those mage clothes that you're wearing? So what if they are? The large hood is cute, and it's big enough to hold Hoodle, too. Huh? He's trying. And the way the fabric is cut into strips is really unique. I had no idea this sort of fashion existed on Dana. C -c Quit staring! Did I say something to offend you? No, I think she's just not used to the attention. As if this place wasn't cold enough, it's also pitch black. I'm amazed anyone can live in this realm. Seriously. Having all this snow everywhere makes it harder to walk or get anything done. And not having any light to see by makes the uneven terrain even more difficult. Calaglia is no walk in the park either. It's dusty and there's rocks everywhere. And it's on fire all over the place. Sand. Yeah, I hate right. sand. Now that you mention it, all those fires are it's a great weird phenomenon. Gets everywhere. They were always so annoying to navigate around. Out here, fire's as important as water to our survival. So are the trees we use for firewood. Is it that rare to see the sun here? Not just rare. Until I went to Calaglia, I'd never seen sunlight before. I'd only heard about it. Well, that's weird. I couldn't believe just how hot and bright it seemed to be. But I guess in most realms, it's just a fact of life. You're used to it. It's pretty interesting, isn't it? The way the sorts of things people take for granted change from one place to another. All right. Rest. I'm gonna cook. I feel like more dropped items is a good way to go. We need somebody who can boost the effects of the fish. But we'll have full CP, so I'm not too worried about it. We want to talk to... We did she on last time. Let's do Rinwell. Mind if we chat a little? Let me know if you sense anything. Another day, another gold. What are you buying? I think oh, he's saying something's something. over there. The owl forest. The owl house. Found a stump. Good job, buddy. Do you sense uh. one of your friends, Hoodle? Hoot -hoo. Probably takes me back out. I need to go this way. Do you sense one of your friends, Hoodle? What's I'm going sure on? Sure, shit does. Why did the weather change all of a sudden? The snow's gone, oh. and it doesn't even feel cold anymore. King What's Owl, going on? Queen Owl, I like what his mustache. What is this place? I see something big farther in. Is that a zookel? No, an owl. Hoodle doesn't seem too wary, so it's probably not hostile. What even Let's is go this? see what's up then. Stay sharp.
do a kingly hoot. I don't like the spin, but do a kingly hoot. Midnight battle garb. I don't get it. Why has it suddenly started giving us things? Hey, is that owl beckoning us over? I think it is. It's the owl we rescued before. Then maybe that's what the gifts are all about. It's thanking us for saving its friend. This one isn't just bigger than Hoodle, though. Something about it seems almost regal. Don't you think? You mean the king crown what and the mustache? The king of the owls. Would that make the other one the queen? You think so? Yes, they're clearly a pair. <laughs> this is silly. I love it. Is this some kind of owl sanctuary? It's such a big place, though. I wonder if those two were living here all alone until we rescued that owl. Those owls. I thought no other owls existed, but here they are, and a king and queen by the looks of them. You never know what other ones might be out there until we look for them. It's not like you were searching the whole world over yourself, right, Rinwell? That's... well, I mean, yeah. I guess you've got a point. Hey, Hoodle! Toot. Look at him. How about we find more of your friends and tell them about this place? It can be a little side mission on our trip, if that's okay. It's they give me things, me. I'm about it. We'll find as many as we can. Thank you. Oh. Rinwell? It's nothing. Don't mind me. Ready to move on? Wonder what that was about. Aha! I'm the Botane, Birdie Busty. Or AG, solid. What else is in there? Restored upon enemy defeat. It's okay. Number of owls gathered increases astral energy. Okay. Your elemental attack strength. Sure. It raises one ally's penetration. Decent. Owls you find will gather in the Owl Forest. There's the Owl King and Owl Queen in this forest, and you can talk to the King to get rewards based on number of owls you located. We would make for a good owl perch. So that's probably telling me we're missing some owls in the uh, red region. But we can see, yeah, they all did have the little accessories on them. Bunny tail, glasses. Can't tell what that one is. Oh, the monocle. Ears, tail, bunny ears, cat ears, dog ears. One of them should have the dog tail. Then we found these white guys. So each of these should be the different regions, which makes it look like we've got one, three regions, at least here, after, uh, the snow region we're in right now. We've got a lot more to find in the snow. It's over in his chest of knickknacks. Just random stuff. There isn't one hiding over here, is there? Hoodle's just out because. Oh, wait, we want to talk to that one. Oot. Oh, we getting something else? Just stare. Mouth agape. Oh. 
Apple gel, life bottle, orange gel, panacea, noble blossom, noble crimson. <laughs> what do you think? There's probably, it's probably just who comes out when we're over here because they're all here, right? It's gotta be. All right. So, one thing I'll do real quick is change our equipment. Onyx Mail is a little bit better defense, not really that much. You should be able to use... Oh, I guess not. Unless it was a noble... no. I do like that a rifle changes, though. Out we go. I think Huro senses an owl around here. It's gonna be another one here, solid. So the guys we saw back in Messia were snake eyes. And your group fighting them is the silver swords. Heck, we even have members working within the snake eyes gathering intel for us. Sounds like it involves a lot of double crossing. It does. <laughs> but it keeps us alive and one step ahead. Calaglia wouldn't have been liberated without those double agents. We got we got a path over here. Path that way leads up to the fortress, which we aren't going to do there. Then the path over here is probably where we're going. We can also check out down there where there probably is going to be the owl. Do want to fight things while we can. I'm sure this is going to take us to, like, a quick travel to other water areas or something. It's got to be. I gotta say, like, the entire art style is pretty damn solid. Materials. Take all the materials I can get. We gotta be careful because we can drop down that way. We don't really want to do that. We're gonna go up this way first to see if Hoodle pops out before we're actually in the place. Doesn't look like the owl's over there, so we're good. Birds. Right, here go. Let me help. You're okay, here I go. Off the edge, not yet, not yet. Just keep an eye. Those guys, just the area we need to go through is that cave. 
charge them just to clear them. An opponent like this should be easy. Well, I did not mean to do that, but luckily he overshot. Baby, let's go. Burn in hell. Take him down. Blazing Blow. Wonder what that one was for. Increase boost gauge from enemy down. Yeah, that was from bringing him down. So that's good. That means that's actually working. She has to use it on aerial enemies. Okay. And then meals cooked. She has to boost cast on people casting arts. I feel Remember stronger. That. I mean, a bit. I don't want to go through there. No, no, not yet. Rinwell. Hey, Rinwell. What are you doing here? If the snake eyes spot you here, they'll. So you did make it back alive. Man, am I glad to see you safe. Barely. When we all got separated, I thought... They're fine. They all got back in one piece. Well, Azugul took a bite out of two of our guys, but... What matters is you're safe. So, you gonna introduce me? Meet Alfin and Xion. I brought them with me from Calaglia. You mean you made it to Calaglia? Wait, this is it? Just the two of them? Where's the rest? Well, it's kind of a long story. It's best if I fill everyone in at once. Your call, Rinwell. But everyone will be dying to know. We better get back as soon as we can. Use this passage whenever you need to go in or out of the city. Stay away from the front gate, whatever you do. Ooh, that, that'll be juicy to get, uh... You knockdowns for Xion. Especially if I can hit all four of them at once. Little help. Oh, three. Does that count for her? Probably doesn't, right? <sighs> Looks like we won. But I still need to kill things as fast as I can until we can until we run out of like this should be easy. What's it called? Do that. Right, now we gotta so hold on. We'll use it the next time we Something get a three for us. Not so long as you keep them pointing toward the enemy. Spread. Our work is done here. Let's move. I'm right behind you, Shion. What's he doing up there? Being a dick. That a cave? No. Go oh, man. Bring it on, nerds. Oh, I wasn't expecting it to be an alpha. Take it. 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 Take it.
Nice. Looks like it could be worth something. Got that guy. Anything over here? No. This way. Okay. Secret area. Solid. Treasure. Love it. The design of this equipment is really interesting. <clears throat> I really like it, Alfin. Icy cold water. Who doesn't love it? <sighs> yeah, everybody angry. Let's go. This will be a delicious piece of cake. <laughs> you picked the wrong fight. Swallow blade. Here I come. Here's a healing arm. Do it. Try harder. Swallow blade. Did you just heal me? Yes. I need you, remember? Right. find her flying enemies to take down. There's three there. We are not finding that hootie boy. This will be a delicious piece of cake. This one's mine. Come one, come all. Should not get on three, four. This ends now. Consider yourself finished. See you continue on in that thing. Yes, my lady? Something you wanted to say? Yeah, she reset fast there. A mile. Just solid, that means we get to go for the other set too. And then, while the map is clear, do one more lap looking for... I need the missing hoot. Three over there, that'll be handy. These little ones are hardly worth our time. Less talking, more pummeling. Cut them apart to your heart. I'm out of air. I'm ready for the next battle. Alright, and our things out, so we won't be getting there's the hoot. We'll get him in a second. That's perfect, because these are the last guys I think we have that we can even fight. I won't forgive you! Dance in the wind! Take it! Steering flight! Let them mark me! No escape! I never missed! Get him! Do it! Get back! Astral energy! Full throttle! Extend gate! This is barely target practice. Then why bother fighting them? Because I certainly won't run away from a battle. <laughs> okay, calm down. Alright, doesn't look like anything over there we missed. We've got a couple things in the water we'll circle back for. Is there anything over here? Yep, a little bag hiding in the corner. Orange gel, always good to have. And that's everything, so we'll get up the water. Just circle around the island, grab these. <sighs> yep. We got wolf tail. Woohoo! 
only it came in black wolf tail. Bigger. I like Looks it. Looks like we spotted one of Hoodle's friends. We need our colors to work for Twin Tail. Oh, can't get up there. Is the blazing sword okay? A little water's not going to hurt it. <laughs> it still gets me. That's a funny comment. Oh no, I got the fire sword wet. <laughs> You're allowed to get the fire sword wet, don't worry. How do the Renans not know about this secret route of yours? Cisloden's an old city. It's littered with pathways that people have long forgotten. But keep your voice down. We don't know how long this route will stay hidden. Wanted to hear us up above. This is a secret route that leads directly from the Navarra snow plains to inside Cisloden. It's an underground passage that even the Snake Eyes forgot about. There's a loud echo in there, so try not to make too much noise. Pressure! Milk! He needs some milk! He needs it! Luden was her. She's working for the resistance. The lights do make it a kind of magical do you looking city. One of your friends, Hoodle? Welcome to Sisladen. You should hurry on in before anyone notices you. Also, watch what you say around people or you'll quickly regret it. Regret it. Oy so vey. this is Cisloden, capital city of Cislodia. Be careful. You never know where Snake Eyes or their informants are lurking. We are basically walking into a Zuko's den here. It's actually kind of neat in Japan. Um, if anybody ever goes, you can take photos of the manhole covers. They're kind of different per city. And it almost looks like they kind of imparted that here with the manhole cover being the four lights converging on the main tower. Or at least that's what it's making me think of. On. Goes to that exit. This goes to some other exit. Not allowed through there, or it's up the top. Probably up top. Excuse me, sir. I'd like to report someone for talking badly about his lordship. Tell me more. Depending on what you heard, there might be a reward in it for you. Mm, yes. He says his lordship was caught smoking crack and sleeping with whores. Well, this will not do at all. I wonder where my brother goes when he leaves. He says he found a good job somewhere, but he won't tell me where. I should report him. There are shots here. On a permit basis. Oh, as long as people don't get reported around on here and sent to work the floodlights. Economic activity is allowed here. All this talk about reports and permits. This place really is different from Calaglia. There it is. Yeah, shades. Look how cool that owl is. Looks like we've spotted one of Hoodle's friends. In the meantime, uh, what are we doing? We are making our way to the Silver Sword base and discovering owls as we go. Also keeping an eye out for treasure. You've got no business here, then stay away. Okay, I take it we'll be back here soon enough. <laughs> Uh, 
I was gonna say that looked almost like a character from one of the older games. Specifically Zillia. Um, oh, what was her name? What was in Leanne? It was basically she had a yellow coat and a news cap because she became a reporter in the second game after like the original turmoil. But she was a fighter. Stretch out here. Shh. It's good to see you. Who's this? There with me. Pay no attention to the man with the so. giant burning sword on, on his back. Week. We can talk in there. Guards, be not afraid. Neither with the woman in the uh, battle princess wedding regalia. Do they look the like main Medic, characters? Leader of the Silver Swords. He looks and like. I wish one. I could extend my warmest welcome to you all, but. If my eyes don't deceive me, you appear to have a Renan in your midst. How could you tell? If she is your prisoner... Literally, how could you tell? It's a rather loose leash you have her on. She's not a prisoner. So why do I get the feeling there's a rat about the house? No offense intended. See, I've grown comfortable with the likely outcome I'll be stabbed in the back. But stabbed in the front? We risked our lives just to get here, sir. If you want to send her away, fine. But you'll lose me, too. I see. Trust is in about as short supply as light around these parts, and mine more than anyone's. But I'll choose to believe you. Forgive my manners. You must be tired after such an arduous journey. But to business, Ooh. we need your strength. The Snake Eye's grip on the city tightens by the day. Our people are suffocating out there. Hence the scouts I sent to find help. We're at the end of our tether here. That's why we're here, to help. We've got the firepower to do it, too. But first, we've got some urgent business to take care of. I see. So your leader is in need of rescuing. It's none of your concern. We get that. But it's coming to our aid that got you into this mess in the first place. You can count on us. Just as long as you help us with our problem afterwards. If he's been arrested by the Snake Eyes, as you say, then there's a good chance he's being interrogated over at their headquarters. Either that, or he's being put to work over at the floodlights. First priority is finding out where he is. If you're planning on tagging along, Rinwell will show you the way. Just make sure to keep a low profile. Remember, it's not just the Snake Eyes. Hostiles lurk among the villagers, too. This leader of yours, he must be quite the inspiration for you to go to such lengths for him. I look forward to meeting him someday. Silver Sword. More AG is probably good. You have Gale Force for wind. But you've already done wind attacks, so you don't really need that. Searching Dive Water Splash. Move and Cast Art is probably really good for them. But I don't think they move too much. I think the boost gauge from enemy defeats are good. Faster magic charge is good. Damage up. And then that one. So for right now, we're just gonna save it while we're here. More damage from boost attacks.
Still cooking meals. But that if we finish this one, she gets 20 defense, which is probably good. So I think we're going to try and go for that. All right, let's head into town and see what the fuss is. Have you and Menek known each other for long, Rinwell? No, not really. I haven't been with the Silver Swords for all that long, truth be told. He's a smart guy, but he's also deeply suspicious of other people. I can understand, since that's how you get to survive around here. Really? I could tell he was wary of us at first, but he seemed to warm up to us pretty quickly once we talked to him. Yeah, that's pretty unusual for him. <sighs> I think that's a sign of how desperate tired, things have boy. become. In my case, it took a long time for him to start trusting me. But then again, I kind of get where he's coming from. You never know who might betray the group, or when the Snake Eyes might be watching. What made you join up with the Silver Swords in the first place? This wasn't your hometown, so... Was it the Snake Eyes who... No. It wasn't them. I just... Actually, we shouldn't stand around talking. People will start to suspect us. Let's keep moving. If you're looking to pick up some intel, I suggest you visit the Central Plaza. You won't be able to just talk openly to whoever you like there, but you should at least hear some of the rumors going around. Plus, it's a good opportunity for you to all get to know Sisley and see where things are at with your t with it for yourselves. Blah, blah, blah. It's hard, you know, because they just hello, cutie. Nobody heard that. We're starting to run low on food. I better get in touch with the supply team so they can find more. I mean, look, it's just a good design, right? You've got the soft blues, brown hair, matching the brown boots and everything. Shortcut. And then the little bandage on the face with the little stern expression. That's cute. I don't give a fuck. Oh, an inn. Should probably do that. Rest. Uh, there's no point to cooking if we're going to be exploring a town, right? It's not really fights. Yeah, no, we don't need food. We just need to rest. Uh -oh. Careful when you're walking around outside. Any bleeding you suffer could mean a fatal loss of body heat. Yeah. <laughs> no good. Up this way. Hello, doctor. Like one of those, uh, what do you call them? The old masks that they used to wear. Plague doctors. Get the leeches. What do you think? I look just like a snake eye, right? Now I can pass as one of them and they'll be none the wiser. Of course, if they catch me, that's it for me. But I risk high reward, you know? Got boy. Don't really need anything from you. And it doesn't look like we got anything up here. That one just looks somewhat like the other guy's model. They added a bandage and changed the color and his clothes are different. But so far, they've done a pretty damn good job of making a lot of the background characters seem unique, in my opinion. For what it's worth. Alright. Uh, da 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 da. We came from this way. Double check, but I don't think. Oh, there looks like there's a quest now. There wasn't before, I don't think. And I don't remember being able to go that way. So I'm a fast traveler. Pick up the quest. Then we'll do patrol around, pick up any quests we can, and Finally. keep going. If only we could have flown with the yeah, wind to get here faster. Mm -hmm. Something wrong? Mm. Yeah, you could say that. You know the hidden passage that connects Sisladin to the outside world? Well, on my way back from there, I spilled some food outside the entrance. The smell of it attracted Zoogles, and now it's too dangerous to cross through that path. 
Not much point talking to Bregan about it either. Everyone in the Silver Swords is too busy. Hey. He'll handle it. Have the Zoogles gotten into the pathway itself? Not yet, thankfully. They're just hanging around the entrance. Why? Are you thinking of helping? Hmm. I know it's a lot to ask right now, but right. it's fine. We'll take care of it. It's not something we can afford to ignore. Thank you. I really owe you all big time. Just be careful. There's a lot of Zoogles crawling around out there. Got it. Sure. I guess. I mean, it doesn't really matter to me. We aren't really going to do it. There's an Ice Wolf, a Berserker, and a Roper near the entranceway. But yeah, we're not really going to bother with them until we make sure we've got all the quests, because I'd rather only go out once. Oh, right. There's no way to go there. Okay. Probably we can come into that alley from the other side once we go out this way. Yeah, I mean... Look. I've played a lot of games in my time. And I've... This is interesting. Um, and I've just started dabbling with, like, 3D modeling and all that stuff. And... I mean, come on. This is all really well done. Like, I know they tried to upscale it and they really wanted to, like, use the powerhouse of the PS5, supposedly in the Xbox S and X. But, like... You know, I liked it better when I could see the outside hills and stuff. But even just the detailing on some of the walls and things, all the little stalls... Technically, I can see, if you look closely, you can see what things have been copied, right? This stall is a copy of this stall. And is there a little bit of extra stuff around it? It actually is exactly the same. I didn't even notice that. This stall is different from this one, though. This guy's the same stall, right? Yep. So yeah, maybe I'm, maybe I'm giving too much credit. I don't know. I still, like, I didn't notice that based on the placement of the people, I guess, until I actually was looking for it. I think that's pretty neat, right? That's a repeat stall, but now we've got children in front of this one, and there's actually a person in that one. I don't think we saw that one over there. This way. That's the headquarters. We'll go up and around. One says, I hate not knowing where the snake eyes might be. Wonder how those work. So that's where those beams of light have been coming from. Right. Any Danans accused of dissent against the Slodia's lord are rounded up and brought here, then put to work. It's a fierce deterrent. And you think Zephyr might be in there with them? I want to see what the lights are all pointing towards. Take us there. see where the floodlights converge from all the way over here. I want to take a closer look. There's something I need to confirm. What could it's possibly be one worth of the risk servants? of us all getting spotted? You'll find out when we get there. Be careful. If anyone's even a little suspicious of us, they'll report us immediately. Right. It's not just snake eyes we need to watch out for, but other Danans too. Still, there are a fair amount of people out on the streets. Isn't it safer to stay at home? That's more suspicious. That's the thing. If you stay cooped up too long, people start to suspect <laughs> you're hiding something. Damned if you do, damned if you don't. So people feel like they have no choice but to turn others in so they don't get in trouble. What a miserable way to live. At the very least, we should probably go someplace where there aren't so many. Ah, Shion! We already stick out here like a sore thumb as it is. So I think yes. it's better if we just walk confidently out in the open. Don't look anxious. Just walk firmly and look like you have a destination in mind. What, is sticking to the plan too much of a hassle for her? 
This is why Renans are the worst. I don't know if it's a Renan thing or not, but she does have a point. Anyway, we're not gonna get anywhere just standing around. Let's follow after her. Alright. Oh, uh, would it kill them to give us just a little time off once in a while? I'm fed up working day in and out without even a break. I don't know who's saying these things, but they're popping up in the bottom left here. Shh, don't say anything crazy, man. Do you want to get put on the floodlights? Nothing in here. Everybody walking around looks so depressed. Can you blame them? They live under the cover of darkness day and night. That's bound to wear you down. Not to mention all the snake eyes roaming around. Laughing, talking too loud, or just about anything that makes you stand out can get you killed. Taking in embedded weaklings, good for business? Most of them just run errands, but there's a few gems among them. Sometimes you get kids with real talent. Taking them in makes our job easier. Best travel point added. I think it is this guy. Can't really inspect him or anything though. Oh, can't go that way. I got a tip that you're plotting a revolt. But that's crazy. There must be some mistake. It's the floodlights for you. Come along now. What are you looking at? You want to be on floodlights too? Later, Aider. Good luck, guy. What's that? Apple gel. Okay, I'll take it. Checking, but yeah, the ally alley goes that way. Where's this go? Because something has to lead back to that other entrance in the alley from up top that we can drop down to. Go this way to start. Everybody's so quick to stab each other in the back after for a day's pittance. I'm sick of it all. Too old for this shit. Hey, I hear an outsider's gotten in. Oh no, that's the guy. Let's submit a tip and get the payoff before somebody, anybody else can beat us to the punch. They both dudes. They are both dudes. I thought one was a chick. That's anime for ya. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Nothing this way. Hello, little boy. You do that. Billy's not here right now. Thanks to anyone who references the movie. I know I got the name wrong, but I can't remember the kid's name. You there, miss! Yes? What is it? I've received reports of you wandering beyond your living quarters and work area. What do you have to say for yourself? I... Uh, doesn't look good, Alfin. You're not conspiring with any rebels, are you? What? Perish the thought! I have young children to look after, kids whose parents were sent to the work the floodlights. That's so? Well, I've heard it all before, lady. I'm sending you to the floodlights for going out of bounds without permission. You can tell those parents how their kids are when you get there. No. No. Please. Who's going to take care of them if I'm not around to help? It's not my problem. Nobody asked you to take them in to begin with. Come with me. That's how you get shipped off. It doesn't take much. <laughs> This is insane. Here's your reward. If you find anyone else suspicious, be sure to report them too. Right, of course. Thank you very much. Hey. You know what you just did? Huh? Alpha, no. That woman you turned in was looking after kids who had no parents. So, what's it to me? Why you... Huh? My parents got sent to the floodlights too, you know. They came back in a sorry state. They can't work and put food on the table, so I've got to do what I can to make ends meet. That doesn't mean you can Why simply- you? Then you feed us! Come on! Get us some food! I'm waiting, damn it! 
Gah, I shouldn't have yelled like that. Alfin. Sorry. Sorry about that one, Runewell. Let's get out of here. We have a realm to save in Zephyr. Alright. We came from this way, and I'm still trying to figure out... Yep, this will go back to the alley. I just want to see what's up here. Nothing, just a drop down. We should really have a ladder. Or oh, an apple gel, okay. Now we know what the path is. This, why did mommy and daddy get taken away? Did they do something bad? N no, they didn't. Mommy and daddy did nothing wrong. Remember that. All right. Let's see. We need to go that way, but there's also a path up here. No other side quests, though. Pay no attention to the man just running through the streets. Oh, what do you think? Eventually, I'm worried that there's going to be a point where we can't uh, finish our side quest, but at least we'll know then, a I guess. Spirit vessel. I thought as much. So they're pumping it full of light. No, not light. Astral energy. Of course. No wonder this realm's so dark. It's as though there's a pall over the sky even during the day. Except it isn't dark. Not really. The light's just being diverted. Diverted? Suck up all the light, and all that's left over is darkness. What's the difference? Darkness exists as an actual element of astral energy, just like light does. Didn't you know that? Mm. Let me break it down for you. Astral energy exists as different elements. There's earth, water, fire, and wind, as well as light and darkness. But... Dark astral energy only exists on Rena, and light astral energy on Dana. So, dark energy isn't harvested as part of the crown contest. Okay. She's right. It's the same reason why I can't wield dark energy, and similarly, why no Renans can use light energy either. What's healing magic qualify The as? only exception to that rule on the Renan end is likely the Lord here, who has the Light Master core. Whatever the case, it looks like they're collecting light here the same way they were fire back in Calaglia. From what I hear, there used to be a proper day and night cycle in Cislodia ages ago. But apparently, over the last 300 years, the darkness spread from Cisloden and covered the whole realm. That's crazy. I can't believe the Renans found a way to steal even our own damn light. We shouldn't linger. Let's keep moving before someone spots us. Wandering around blindly is getting us nowhere. A snake guy has the stiff. information we need, but we can't just ask for it. So what if we sneak in and take it instead? I wasn't aware you knew how to be sneaky. Uh, hey, look over there! That's Zephyr's son. Law. I don't know. Something doesn't feel right about all this. Are you kidding? He up to? He's practically gift wrapped for us. What, are we gonna steal him? Hey, what are you? Pop him in the back of the head. Drag him down the street in front of everybody. I remember you. What do you want? Daddy. We don't mean you any harm. We just want oh, to daddy. talk quietly. Deal? Shouldn't be using the word daddy. It's Make taken it on too much, too much evil in too little time. Where's your dad? Where are you keeping Zephyr? Uh, We're here to rescue him. Why? What do you mean, why? Isn't he your father? Oh, yeah. Easy to forget that. After he abandoned me. Abandoned? It's the truth. 
All my old man ever cared about was sticking it to the bright eyes. He never even made it to mom's funeral. So you become an agent for the local lord? You got a problem with that? You're not exactly one to talk, keeping company with a Renin woman. You think you know her, but wait until she has a choice between you and her people. I may have become an agent for the Renins, but at least I'm here trying to soothe the agony of my people from the inside. What's your excuse? Well, I got the sword. And... I don't buy it. No. You're running because you're scared. You think you're the only one who's had to suffer? What the hell do you know, you- <laughs> <laughs> What the- Damn you! No touchy-touchy. People like you Enough. make me- Look, I don't know what happened between you and your father. But what I do know is that when you fought back at the village, he wouldn't raise a hand to strike you. I've never seen Zephyr back down from a fight. But he could never hurt his own son. And when he said he was staying behind... I think it was because he wasn't willing to abandon you. If you know anything, then tell us, please. Oh, the dog I, is. I don't know where they're keeping my dad now. All I've heard is that they're going to publicly execute him in the plaza in front of headquarters. Execute? Thank you. You did the right thing. <laughs> Why are you so determined to help my father? He helped us. Zephyr is the reason I took up the sword. He taught me how to think for myself. It didn't seem that deep. And I want to learn more. If they're going to execute him in the plaza, then it'll be too dangerous for us to go alone. Let's ask Menik. He should be able to sneak us in. Sounds good to me. Let's have a chat with him. So, I get that you perform a certain type of astral arts, but why does your magic look so different from what Renan's use? Is it a different source or something? I've been wondering that. I'm not exactly an expert on how Renan's cast magic, but we both manipulate astral energy to create it. We just channel that energy in different ways. Like how you chant your spells, whereas they throw out those weird symbols? Yeah, and just like how there are different ways to use a sword. There are elemental differences between us two. For example, light is only in Dana, and darkness is only in Rena. Ah, all right, that makes sense. So let me ask, does that mean you can't use any dark magic at all? Or that they're just more attuned to it? Basically not at all. Since I don't have any dark energy inside my body, there might be an indirect way to tap into it, but I wouldn't know. I didn't learn everything that my family knew about magic, so it's hard for me to say for sure. Fair enough. Thanks for teaching me all that. I really do appreciate it. Sure thing. You're just gonna be sad, boy. Yeah. Oh, we're all the way over here again. They want us to go back this way. I was trying to think what's the fastest way. Arguably, we could have gone down into the alley and then walked out and been right at the door. Guess we're going here. Not too far, not too far. Plus, we saved a loading screen, so that's always good. So, you made it back in one piece. No promising leads unearthed on this end, I'm afraid. It may take a little longer. We got our own lead, but it's not good. They're planning to execute Zephyr in the plaza in front of the Snake Eyes headquarters. And soon. They're going to what? I've never known them to move so fast. 
They must believe he poses a grave threat. Or it's a trap. We have to break him out. We could really use your help. Not gonna be easy, but I'm sure we can think of something. If they're staging it in the plaza, there's bound to be an announcement beforehand. Which means if we can... Snake Eyes! They've got us surrounded! Damn! I knew we shouldn't have trusted! Save it! In position, everyone! Repel them! Use us, Manic. We've got your back. No. You need to get out of here now. Rinwell, you know what to do. Underground what do you waterway do? to the rear. On it. Okay. But. No discussions. You didn't make it this far for it to end here. We'll be fine. We just have to buy you a little time. I'll send word later. Now get going already. So this passage runs beneath the whole city, huh? Pretty clean for a Dan and sewer. Are you sure it's safe down here, Rinwell? It's our emergency evacuation route, so it should be. But... You sure it's as secret as you think? We can use this chance to clear the way for Menek and the others when they follow. Let's go. Okay. Enemies show up the moment we do. Are we the reason for it? We can puzzle over it later. We gotta run. As if it wasn't weird enough getting into the city through that hole. Why are there so many passages like this around Sislodan? And it doesn't seem like the Snake Eyes use them to get around without being detected either. Yeah, they don't look like ruins. Do you have any idea, Rinwell? Aqueducts. These passages are sewers. They're underground so the water doesn't freeze. But they're not really unusual in big cities like this one. Really? Is there nothing like these back in Calaglia? <laughs> not as far as I know. In Calaglia, anything they wanted to get rid of, like waste or garbage, was simply burned. Including the bodies of dead slaves. I'm not sure why they did that. Maybe it was another way of getting astral energy out of them. <sighs> Sorry, that took a dark turn, didn't it? Yeah. All right. Got about 50 minutes or so before we're out. So let's get through these guys. Uh, we're going to have fights. So if we rest here, we'll be able to cook. And again, more dropped items is probably what we're going to do. Da 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 da. All right, later, later. Oh, look at them all angry monsters and blob boys. Got it. Will's boost attack attacks an enemy with special art that disturbs astral energy. If the enemy is hit with it while casting an art, they'll be down, and Rinwell will steal the spell and charge it, leaving them unable to use it again for a while. Tutorial starts. If you spot any art wielders, let me know. Will do. Much obliged. Oh no, you were supposed to hit the other one. But I guess it hit it by. I oh, just missed it. Here I go. Right. That's my cue. Shut him down. All right. What's happening? If you can't fight, you just kill them. I didn't say any of that. I can fight. Hey, that's smart. We turned the tables on him. There are still more left. Right. No time to hold back. Now, I'm only getting started. 
These little ones are hardly worth our time. Less talking, more pummeling. Cut them apart, Smash them. Here I come! You're mine! In here! Uh, Let's go! These little goo boys are this not my game. friends. I am not happy with them. This need to be using her arts more. But those mega cores we needed. Okay, hold on. We just got six of those things. We are going to this guy and we're forging her Ignis Roar here. Because it's like 50 on everything. For you, what do you need? You need astral crystals. We might actually skip that one. And then for you, it's an extra 20 on everything, and you're a major attacker. Uh, we'll hold off for now. We'll do it every... I always love the sound of hammers banging Anything away. over 40 and we'll go for it, but... Oh, I didn't see if there was a hoodie Get in there. Lost. going. Take a quick look at the map real quick. Going up through here, side passage there, up over. There is some map action. Don't know what that means. We're going up over there. Ladder. It's all pretty rudimentary. Just got to make sure to go south before we go north at the last point. My general plan is if I do a full explore on every first entrance, we'll get most materials and levels that we need without much, much difficulty. Hit them all if we can. Why does she... Burn hers with ours. Got the poison before we take any. Finish him. Okay. That's some Pressure. power you wield. Strange the one did the heavy lifting. If I can run around and clear these fast enough, then we'll get extra items out of all of them, which would be lit. This way. What up, alien boys? This will be a delicious piece of cake. I will say I am pretty pleased that we don't actually lose uh, eat time while we're in combat. Oh, this could be useful. Heal this guy. Tried to get away from the snake eyes only to get attacked by Zookles. Uh, I'll give you this if you promise not to turn me in, please. More bizarre mega cores. Nothing here, but there's an extra path here. Treasure. And bad boys. But we gotta fight, so let's go for it. There we go. Oh, but she doesn't have her thing. Oh, wait. Okay, so that's how we can do that. 
Ah. Uh, bring you back. You gotta bring me back fast. Get out of there, guys. Don't need all that poison damage. Oof. We're done. We're dead as fuck. What the hell is this? Ugh, come on, get out of there. We're dead. Now I need to restart that one. Unless she's got this. Yeah, no, she's done. I can't feel anything. Yep. Oh, that just fucks us, huh? Recovering from party defeat. When the party wipes out in a normal fight and loses, it costs CP to recover in the same area. While you're still returning to the same area, even with no CP, you won't recover HP, meaning that retreating to accrue CP can still be wise. I can't believe this. Yeah, okay, I gotta be careful around those guys. Like they kinda suck. Alright, what can we do to recover some CP here? HP, orange gel. One twenty nine, that's pretty decent fill. Okay, so we got a round two here with these guys. No choice. Here I come. God damn it, dude. They do so much fucking damage. Those guys just do mad damage. I mean, maybe my stuff, my elemental defense isn't high enough, but... Crap, man. Alright, can we jump over here real quick? Nothing here. We probably need to... Like, jump a gap, right? Oh, If I straighten out, I might bake it. Or we go around here where it's a shorter jump. That yeah, works. Oh, fucking. Yeah, I don't really want to fight these at all. Stay away from my friends! So much goddamn damage. They're so gay, dude. Holy crap. Like, they make area destruction, which really frickin' sucks. They get three knock-up blasts. They don't want to get interrupted while they're casting at all. Yeah, I don't want to fight time. those at Still all. Those things are terrible. They drain CP like a motherfucker, too. 
I mean, they don't drain it, but, like, we just have to use so much of it. Crap, dude. 129 again. Yeah, if we see those, we're dodging them with everything we can. What are you? Treat. Valuable medicine spread across an area that restores 1,000 HP to all allies. Okay, seems nifty. And I know they're guarding something down there. Keep rough. I feel kind of funny. Yeah, you're looking funny too. Hey, you're looking funny, Jeff. So goddamn poison, dude. Holy fuck. I just can't let them get their stuff off or else we're fucked. I'm gonna go for this guy real fast. Three. This guy. Okay, we broke that one in time. Okay. Soon as I'm done here, come help. Did this one right now. Could have been a way worse. Cut them apart to your heart's content. Oof. There's more where that came from. Item, just Jasmine. So Should we really take this? Whatever. Um, no, we shouldn't. But we're gonna we're gonna make something with the sewer Jasmine. So probably like a nice sewer Jasmine tea. Right? What could possibly go wrong? Right, we've gotten most everything so far. I have not seen Hootie pop out, so I don't think there's anything in here. Got a dude. A little further in, you'll find yourself above ground again, but don't you dare relax once you're out. Stay vigilant when you're here. Buying and selling. Got plenty of wheat, plenty of lettuce. A decent amount of egg. Don't need that, don't need that. So, we don't really need much of anything as of right now. So ditch that. Forge weapons. I can build my Gale Boy, but I'm gonna not. No astral crystal fragments. Alright, we're out. Lady Lux, fickle woman, remember, disaster always strikes when you least expect it. Which right now. We'll go down here first. There's one of these guys. Out of our way. Not in your dreams. I'll take you all off. Magic and bam. Freeze Lancer. I'll try and interrupt these guys as best as I can. Come on, dodge, dodge, dodge. Jesus. Well, we're on the home stretch now. Don't take your eyes off the sky. I'm quite aware without you reminding me. We got 44. Now I can let loose. 33. With this, I can be But we're gonna get a full heal, so I actually don't have to worry. Got about that. Full heal. Nice. Then we're gonna save. Extra nice. Something is coming. <laughs> right? One more step. Hey, everybody hold up. Hold up. I feel it. There's a monster here. Right?
What we got? Big Ooze Boy. Looks like we found our mystery resident. The snake eyes must have kept it here in case of intruders. We can't really? let it slow us down. Let's finish it. And Ooh, you ugly and your breast stank. So big. They want to make sure we don't leave. What are you doing? You we'll and that shit. For everyone's sake. Oof. Careful there. Aim for the weak spot. You picked the wrong fight. Damn it. You did good. You look at me while I'm beating your tongue for trying to. Just trying to stay out of it long enough for any type of... Poor Brave Baby, let's go! Keep calm and take them down. Okay. Here I go. And again. Mega Ray. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, so so far. Lightning. You may be quick looking yourself and get behind him. I'll be right. Let him die. Last. These little ones are hardly worth our time. The fuck they aren't. They do mad fucking damage. You take that the fuck back. Seal him.
one's all mine. Field. Not today. Get on in there with the others. Take this. Magic is there. Water blade. Strike this. Inferno Get on in there with the others. Here I come. Come on, dude! You blast that little bastard. Somebody give me a life bottle. These things are friggin' ridiculous. What are you doing? Like, there's just way too many problems. Oh, beautiful. Our healer's dead. Ridiculous, right? Or am I just insane? These little bastards require me to pump out mad fucking damage or be able to freely hit them. Meanwhile, they do monstrous damage. And poison. Hit them. Fucking shit, I can't. I basically gotta hope that we get through in time. That's it. I lose. Like... stuff like that that's nuts who got what here spell canceler because she had to cancel so many goddamn spells enemy defeats boost gauge enemy downs boost gauge 
boost gauge at battle star yeah we need that we need that shit yesterday to even have had a chance come on let's hurry but like maybe it's me right i'll never put that past that maybe i'm bad because very often that's the answer i think we're gonna call it there but just kind of some thoughts we'll save stuff. before going really? up the ladder not all that hungry myself don't make me say it again uh, yeah good idea Actually, we're probably going to run back and heal just in case there's something else up the ladder. I doubt it, but you never know what they might decide to throw at us. Even if it's just like a bonus battle we're supposed to lose, but if we can make it through, we get extra stuff. I'm about it. But yeah, I mean, those guys... Here's my thought process on why they're a little busted. Hopefully these respawn, that's pretty neat. So, you can interrupt them. I thought you couldn't interrupt them. Now, it's still a pain in the ass to interrupt them, at least as this guy. When you interrupt them with what's-her-face, um, Rinwell, you can only do it with the super battle gauge, whatchamacallit. So we're just gonna rest. Oh no, we need to cook new things, don't we? Did that one. Um, I guess we needed this for the entire thing. This is great. The taste and aroma will blow everyone away. Okay. But uh, yeah, you need to fill her burst gauge or battle gauge or whatever. In order to do that. I don't know exactly what she has to do, but she kind of needs them to be downed already, it almost seems like. What's weird is that, like, she was filling it super fast when we were on our way here, and then since getting here, it's been super slow. But they're tanky. Oh, fuck me. Yeah, we're dead. We're dead as fuck. We're so fucking dead. And see, like, I can dodge one, and then I get juggled for years. They're constantly spewing field poison. Last them all. Last them all to death. I've got to burn everything I can just to try and keep up with them. All right, now we should be fine. But yeah, it's just completely like, do I have enough of my shit up to deal with them? Or am I screwed? If I get hit once, I get juggled. If they decide to target the other um, characters instead of my guy, then they're going to burst them pretty well. Combine that with a boss that spawns them, right? And the boss is doing his own shit and setting up poison fields like that was just ridiculous. <sighs> I should burn 3,000 to pick up three life vials just in case, huh? Three of them, at least. What can we sell? Iron chunks. Mm -mm, good. At least we're at 2k. God damn. Alright. Well. We did a, a healthy number of mini boss fights on the way. Obviously, uh, we have not defeated the lord of this realm, but I'm thinking we come back and, uh, next stream we'll definitely get through the next lord and go to the next area and hopefully have a few more owls 
So I'm going to call it here. Uh, I'll leave the stream up for a little bit in case anybody's watching who wants to go down to the suggestion box and drop in anything they think there. Uh, whether or not you think it's a good idea for me to change times or not. Um, or if there's other time periods you'd be interested in, I can try and accommodate them. But the reality is I work, you know, not really 9 to 5. It's more 10 to 6, luckily for me. Um, but I, I just, I work 10 to 6, and then from about 7 to 9.30, I'm at the gym. After that, I just stay over uh, at my friend's house where the gym is and shoot the shit with him. So, Tuesday through Thursday. Those days aren't really going to work for anything. Mondays, I get off work, like I said. We can do that at 6.37. Um... And then Saturday and Sunday. I don't think I'm going to change Saturday. 9 to midnight Eastern. So we'll see how it goes. But like I said, we're not going to even move the time period until... Not next Friday, but the Friday after that. I think it's... Actually, I think it's October 1st. But let me know in the comments. Um, and I'll put a posting about it in the join stream message or whatever. Um... And hopefully everybody's enjoying Tales of Arise, but eventually we're going to need another game as well, so toss up what you think uh, would be good to have there. I'm I'm kind of partial to playing Ratchet and Clank tomorrow for the Saturday stream if it doesn't get canceled. There's a slight chance it might get canceled, because Saturdays are the only ones I'm trying not to... Well, that I'm allowing to go off. But anyways... Hope everybody had fun, and uh, I will see you guys tomorrow or Monday. Take care.